my shoes. Insane. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Let's go ahead and begin part seven of the Baldur's Gate 3 Honor Mode run. And thank you all so much for those of you guys that have been watching this series. I'm getting v great viewership on the streams, live and after the fact, too. So thank you, guys. Hello, Black Dread, Lone Regular, Harry, Meredy, The Missing, Drez, hello. Let me just bring up my Twitch chat, and then we're going to get things started. Twitch.com slash Wolfheart FPS. Twitch.com. Wow, we don't even have anybody watching the Twitch stream right now. Holy crap. Am I falling out of relevancy right now? <laughs> well, hello there, folks. Heath, what's up, man? Heath, how far are you in your honor mode run? We have anybody that's watching right now that has died in honor mode and had to start over yet? And by the way, uh, Zoltan, lone... Oh, never mind. I forgot what you told me. <laughs> um, we have a, a couple giveaways that we're going to do tonight. Anonymous giveaways. That's that one up. Now, if, if any of you guys ever want to do a giveaway for the channel, um, I ask that you email me first and we can talk about it that way. Um, I'm no longer doing the giveaways where you donate and then I do the giveaway at the moment that somebody donates. Uh, there's various reasons for that, but if anybody wants to do a giveaway for this community, just shoot me an email and uh, we'll figure it out that way and then I'll uh, schedule out a day to do the giveaway. But we're going to do a couple giveaways tonight for some uh, BG3 Steam copies you don't play on pc then i'm sorry you are not included in this one but if you are a steam player i'll be able to get a steam code for you for the game um, thanks to an anonymous donator well i know who it is but i can't tell you guys <laughs> hey frankly gaming what's up man let's go ahead and do one of the giveaways right now since we have 80 people in here before we get things started and then i'll do one at the end when there's a lot more people in here okay so if you guys would like a chance to win uh, a Steam gift card equivalent to the value of Baldur's Gate 3 or a BG3 code, I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Go ahead and type this into the chat right now. Um, type in... Uh, how about Honor? H-O-N-O-R. We're going to do the American spelling, okay? Not the, the stupid Larian Studios with the U, all right? Go ahead and type honor in the chat right now, and we're going to do a uh, Steam card BG3 giveaway, if you have PC. For all of you guys that are here early for the stream. And thanks to the anonymous donator. <laughs> Some people are so cool doing giveaways and not wanting to uh, say who it is. You just got good people in this community. Not that you're a bad person if you want your name to be known, okay? <laughs> All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the winner of the BG3 giveaway is... Hey, DL Brown! That's awesome. Longtime viewer and supporter of the channel. Hey, uh, DL Brown, shoot me a DM on Twitter, Instagram, or on the Discord server and uh, we'll set up a way to uh, get that over to you, okay? Just shoot me a DM at WolfheartFPS, or you can email me at WolfheartFPS at gmail.com, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into part seven now, but first we gotta stop at the tavern, of course. If I recall correctly, last stream I saved Isabel and killed Marcus. My first time ever saving Isabel. Skull. Cool. 
Yeah, congrats. Hey, Anonymous, are you, um, are you Lapland Entertainment on Twitter? I was trying to figure that out the other day. Hello, Julio. Can you finish Honor Mode Blind? Um, do you mean, is it possible to beat Honor Mode if you haven't played the game before? Um, possible, yes. Will it be difficult? Yes. Hey, we got some people over in the Twitch chat now. I just noticed that. Tardis had me enable quotes. So all you guys in the Twitch chat, I don't even know what quotes are or what you do with them, but I think I enabled it, so go ahead and give it a try. Hello, Sun Goddess. Holy Jack. Guy. All right, um, let's, let's dive right in, shall we? Got to get my double chat set up here. I'm still, still don't really have a good method for that. Cool, Shy. <laughs> that is going to take care of you Twitch viewers one of these days. All right, I think I'm ready to, sorry, I'm sorry. I have a complicated setup ever since I started multi-streaming. Okay, Anonymous, all right, good to know. I figured the YouTube uh, profile picture looked very similar. You guys are my secret favorite. All right, I've been messing around. I have a pretty exciting video coming out this weekend sometime. I've been messing around with some save points, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into Lily, Honor Mode, Last Light, and let's rock and roll. Rarity says, I don't know what quotes means. Me either. Hello, Marley86. Hello, Arthur. Would it help for people to watch on Twitch? Doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, I do have to hold like a decent viewership on Twitch if I ever want to get Twitch partner. I reached the minimum requirements and I applied for partnership, but I was denied. <laughs> and the reason was that I'm such a new streamer on Twitch that they wanted me to have more concurrent viewership for a longer period of time. But I think, you know... This whole honor mode run, after I finish that, I'll reapply and I should be fine over there. But you can watch on whatever platform you want. It's not even that big a deal to get Twitch partner. It just means I can up the quality of the stream a little bit. So I guess it is kind of a big deal. All right. We turned against the Drider and sided with the Harpers. We prevented Marcus from abducting Isabel. Why would the cult want her alive? We reached the last light in and met the cleric, Isabel. She gave us the moon lantern from the drider we defeated. We should now be protected from the even even the deepest parts of the Shadow Curse. And then we have our dark urge quest. You didn't intend to spare the cleric, so we're talking about Isabel. Did you? Surely not. You're just waiting for the perfect tragic moment to strike. Build up her trust in you, then let her fall. Yes, that must be your plan. Go back and kill her. Run along. Damn, the Dark Urge quest really is. I mean, they give you like your main quest is to kill somebody. <laughs> they really make it hard to uh, follow that redemption path. All right, so let's have a chat with some people in here real fast. I think I got to do some looting, etc. Doctor Do Hero. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still, I can only feel relief. They took Mole. If they had taken Isabel too, I... We were all caught off guard. Here. Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Hey, Townsend. Okay. And I think I already talked to Isabel, but just in case, let's run back upstairs real fast. Last session went really good. The only major problem that I've had so far was the Grim fight. I'm feeling pretty confident about Act 2, although I am a little bit worried about Malice Thorm. On my first run, he was a, he was pretty tough. I think I'm going to not do the whole setup before the combat encounter begins like I did with the Gif Yankee fight. Where I, you know, use Create Water and then Electrocute them. <laughs> that felt... it. I killed, I killed him so fast that I didn't even, like, enjoy the fight. So I think I'm going to avoid doing that for the rest of the playthrough. For most of the encounters. We're just going to handle them by walking up and engaging in dialogue. Okay, Fist Marcus. Nice to have the last light in. Still have some... Wow, it's crazy. 
I'm not used to the last light in being nice for this long. It usually falls to the shadow curse. Never a dull moment. I take this healing potion. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's a book on healing. Take it back. Okay, uh, we could go underneath here too. Go talk to the cow. Looking ahead. Looks like Damon survived the raid. Nowhere safe from the. If you need something sharp, I have a few things left. See if I have anything special to sell here. We can sell that. We can sell that. Room powder vial. We'll hang on to that. I'll probably forget that I have it. Scrolls are usually worth a pretty penny. Or the Ray of Frost scroll. Um, Phantasmal Killer. I'm going to sell that because it requires concentration. I don't need Charm Person. Um, we have a couple Hold Person spells. Get rid of the Speak with Dead scrolls. I don't know if he has anything else. Buy a couple. Of Ooh, we have the uh, Superior Potion. Oh, those are mine. God, why do I always do that? I start looking at my own inventory. Something wrong with my brain. I've been in these shops so many times. Alright. It doesn't sell anything good over there. Probably get rid of those scrolls, too. What's next? Madness. Still just blown away by how good Lazel is right now in my playthrough. Like, Battlemaster Fighter has got to be... One of the most OP straight up classes that you can play in this game. I dare any of you guys to challenge me to a 1v1. We can set it up. I'll be here if you need it. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Hey mad dog. Hello, Yume. Thanks for stopping in. Lazel is top notch. Peer at the ox with interest. There's something in its eyes. I'm already ready to get into some combat. There's an invitation behind its great brown eyes. Reach out and pet the ox. <laughs> oh, okay, so you need to speak with animals to have it revealed. I mean, I could just... What would happen if I just swung at it? I think the camp might turn against me. Let's go ahead and take a speak with animals potion. See what occurs if I do that. I have six of them. You really don't even need like a character that can speak with animals with the amount of potions that you find. As long as you don't pop them every time, you only pop them when you need them. Should have plenty. No, incapable. Incapable of what? Not for you to know. Come on. Now you've piqued my curiosity. Game's too easy. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. Are you satisfied? What the hell's was that? My little secret. What are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Is that a threat? That's up to you. Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. All I wanted was a bit of hay. A good brushing and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Alright, I think this guy has any legendary actions. This was very surprising the first time that I discovered this. Acid immunity. School of necromancy can be fun, but you gotta you gotta make sure that you you're good with uh, having bodies around you and storing bodies and things of that nature. Be a little tedious at times. If you don't do that, then you feel a little underpowered compared to the other subclasses. Currently, I'm running Abjuration Wizard. Damn, this subclass is good. No time to waste. All right. Oh, I don't. I didn't. Apparently, I didn't short rest. Okay. That's fine. I don't need a short rest. Gone with the weave. Look at 
Odessa, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate you. And Anonymous, thank you for the 20 Euro Super Chats. I was wondering if there's a chance you might consider doing another Elden Ring stream in the near future. In the near future? I don't know. I have been thinking a lot about that game lately, though. I do miss it very much. But I'm not sure about the near future. I'm going to lay out a plan for 2024 at the end of December, and I'm going to do kind of a video update for the channel and the future of the channel and where we go from here now that BG3 is past us. Not really past us. And I'll uh, certainly consider that. I'm excited for the, uh, the Elden Ring DLC. Do we have a date for that yet? That'll definitely bring me back to the game. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a plus 1d4 bonus to all checks. They have a druid in your group. Moon druid is not too shabby. Alright, so I should have a moon lantern now. Nice, I do. So let's put the moon lantern on. We'll put it on. Oh, okay. We're going to put it on Shadowheart. She's kind of frontline. Doesn't really need her weapon as much as, you know, the other classes. Gale is backline. Yeah, I think that's a good choice for him. Have a lot on my mind. We're going to pull that bad boy out right now. Like well be done. I wonder if I should head into the basement real fast. I don't know if I need to do that. Could just power through that quickly. The next Larian project. I can't wait. I hope we get like a whole nother like three year period of like early access and panel from hells and things like that. That would be so much fun. I mean, really, like, the lead-up to Baldur's Gate 3 was, like, just as fun as actually playing the full game. It really was. Just every day, I'd wake up, think about, like, the game that we're going to get in the future. We were speculating. We were having a good time. We were testing out things and thinking about our builds. Everybody was, like, at an equal place. Now you have some people that have played it 10 times, other people that are still on their first playthroughs, everybody, you know, I, I miss those times. Make an Elden Ring build in BG3? I don't know how you would do that. And you guys bet your ass, uh, Larian's next game, I'll be covering it just like I covered Baldur's Gate 3. All the news, all the panel from Hells. All right, let's just get out of here. Let's see what this does. I know we have a couple weird creatures down here to take out. Don't know how much XP I'm going to get from it, but I'm currently seven and a half. Pretty good for where I'm currently at right now. Rotten banana. The Last Light Detention Selkie. With a flick of the wrist. Your internet cut out, Shy? Hello, Lucario Nate. What a crazy helm. I know it's pretty badass, isn't it? Grimforge helm. Have you heard about the Larian deleted tweet? I have. I really don't know what to think of it could mean anything uh, so those of you guys that aren't aw aren't aware uh, one of the yeah one of the um, PR agencies that Larian works with one of the employees named Lisa tweeted out something about something along the lines of I'm so excited for the future of Baldur's Gate 3 or something I can't wait to tell you guys what's coming or something like that and then the tweet was deleted shortly after so nobody knows what that means DLC Huge patch. I, I don't know. Larian talking about their next game. Who knows? Come on. I want my sweet potato. I am an act two, so I am picking up as much food as I can because you don't find it too much around here. Oh, damn. Wow. That hurts. Good thing I got 20 of them. 
that Karlak gets a cure. Yeah, like you can finish like the Damon quest or something like that. How do you guys pronounce his name? I don't even know how it's pronounced in the game. Damon, Damon, Dimon, Dipshit. What pronunciation do you guys use? Honestly, I can't really remember what to do here. Is this a wall that I can... Oh, there's the wall. I know that. Yeah. Damon the dipshit. You guys know that uh, Damon Damon's voice actor voice acted like 20 other characters in the game. <laughs> Something like that. I don't have the exact number, but. Okay, what do we got? Slashing immunity. So let's go ahead and throw on. Let's go on and throw on our trusty bludgeoning weapon. Knock that bastard down. There we go. We'll switch back to my... What was I using? Hold on. Am I still using the Sword of Tear? No, we're using the Get the Yankee Sword. Some great damage out of it. Onward. Daemon? Daemon. Uh, that is how they pronounce it in the game? Okay. Thought it was dipshit. Daemon? Now we're getting Jamaican? Okay. See what you guys did there. Things have stayed interesting. A couple turns should do it. Dolby sound. The man. Yeah, I think a lot of players are looking for, you know, if a full conclusion to Carlac's initial quest that you're put on instead of being stuck with failure, I guess you could say. Which I think is a valid, uh, valid ask. Let's be on my way. You know, on honor mode, I really should be spreading out my party when I'm disarming traps. It would be a bummer to TPK from a trap in this game. Trying to think, I almost did TPK from the traps in the Zentrum hideout when I wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to think what traps in the game, if you had a full HP party, what traps in this game could actually TPK you? Most of them can't. Most of them aren't that bad. But there's a few that I remember, maybe in Act 3, where it was insane damage. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminated by a light source, they also inflict radiating orb upon a target for two turns. You know, honestly, I'm starting to build up some radiating orb stuff with Shadow Heart here. Affected entity has a minus one to attack rolls for each remaining turn. It also sheds a bright light in an area surrounding it. Reduce the duration by two. All right, let's go kill these weird, uh, I forget what these creatures are. I don't think I need a torch down here. Set up Lazel right here. Take Gal, and we're going to put him back here. Don't really have a lot of spell slots right now. But I don't think I need them for this fight. Although I think this fight did scare me one time. Need to find a way forward. And then Shadowheart, no, put Shadowheart right here. I'm ready. On I go. Lazel right here. No, no, stop, stop. Damn Life chain link system. Done. Sucks. Kind of songs with a dark urge sing. Let the bodies hit the floor. Probably be its theme song. One Don't you agree? Day. Can't remember if these things have sunlight sensitivity or what. The mean locks. Disgusting creatures. Man, can you imagine those running around? Dark vision, light sensitivity. Okay, so light sensitivity. All right. In that case, my face protects me. No, Shadowheart, stop! Stop it! <laughs> I always have daylight prepared because I'm a light cleric. Pretty sweet, right? Fortunately, it's a level three spell slot, which I currently don't have. Do have the light cantrip though, so let's go ahead and cast that. Actually, my mace probably already gives that off. Let's go ahead and cast that on. Let's try this way. 
Can't remember if you could do multiple objects. I didn't use this, the light cantrip at all on my first run. You know, you do one at a time. Remember in early access, you could light up every damn thing in the room. Those are crazy times. Nope, you can only have one. So let's go ahead and light up. Uh, we're going to light up Lazel. Hopefully this doesn't put me in combat. And we're going to come back here. Perfect. And let's take a shot at one of these mean locks. 99% chance. Sure, why not? And here we go. Fire and light, okay. Let's go ahead and back up. Actually, we should probably take a shot first. I'm gonna do... Oh, damn, they have a lot of HP. Holy crap. No time to waste. Oh, Shadowheart's in the fight now. Grab people. Oh, man, I don't even have... Honestly, I might use a... I might use Arcane Cultivation here. Oh, level 2 spell slot. Damn, man. Should have rest before this fight. I should have rested. Unfortunate. Spirit Guardians would be nasty here. Why did no? Got to concentrate. We're gonna use a choke point for this. These guys have more HP than I thought. Ugh, like the things are disgusting. Use light on only one object in person. Yeah, so in early access, it wasn't like that, and a lot of us would go into a room such as uh, Jurgle's tomb and then light up, like, every bench, every single object that's targetable in the game, you could light up, and you just have this room that made it look like heaven. Clerics are simply the best. True. I'm not even going to argue about it. Hello, DJ. Gotta give Dragon's Dogma playthrough after hearing your praise. Picking up for five bucks. Nice, nice. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma is, uh, the combat system in that game is just a delightful. So much fun. Uh, there's a lot of other things in the game that are kind of mediocre, but overall, one of the best combat systems I've ever experienced, and I'm really, really excited for Dragon's Dogma 2 because of that. All right, um, we're just gonna... I'm gonna hold my ground, but we might as well come to the door and take a quick shot. That's great. Okay. What if these things can open doors? Oh, tempest, I will raise. Oh, gals in combat too? What the hell, man? When did that happen? You said light and fire. Fire doesn't seem to do anything unless it gives off light, which it doesn't seem to give off light, so. God, dude, there's so many of them. Spirit Guardians, my beloved. Bro. Yeah, Larian's getting nominated for the PlayStation Awards, all sorts of awards now, too. There's still a few more award ceremonies that have yet to take place. New hotfix out now? Oh, when did that come out? Patches for Mac. Congrats, Mac users. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to haste Lazel here. I'd probably do this, actually. 
How many charges do I have? Six arcane ward charges. I don't have any level... Man, I gotta make sure that I have Glyph of Warding prepared because it's a nice abjuration spell that gives you some offensive capabilities. And I forgot about it, man. In striking distance. I forgot about it. Let's do Glyph of Warding. These guys aren't... Hold on. They aren't weak to anything. Let's just do Glyph of Warding. Huh. Really hard to get that off without hitting Lazel. Really hard. Honestly, I'm going to do this. I think this will be pretty cool. You guys ready for this? Watch this. They're not going to know to avoid it. I'm going to put my character right here in case they come after Gale and my party character. Now, I've been playing, I've been doing a lot more defensive tactics on this honor mode run. It's working out pretty good. Usually don't play like that. It's pretty fun though. God, these things look like aliens, don't they? See how much XP I get from these guys. I have 4604. Oh, Spirit Guardians would just end this fight so fast. Not even funny how fast it would end it. Disadvantaged? I'm frightened right now. The hell, man? Seriously? Seriously? All right, I'm just going to... Call on a spiritual weapon. I have this door guarded right now. It's actually insane. Man, she's frightened too. Okay, we came out of it. Thank God. Nope, still frightened. This is gonna suck. Okay. Wow. Ebenezer Scrooge. We have a problem. <laughs> a couple really good spells in this game stop your character from being able to be frightened. Can't think of what they are right now. Oh, that's nice. Where the hell did that just go? What the hell, dude? They jump... That's bullshit. They're jumping over the... There's no... They're teleporting. Oh my god. We might have a TPK here. This is not good. Wait, Netflix is looking to do a live action series based on BG3? No. No. Oh my god, DJ says this wiped me on Tactician. Okay, I thought you were saying honor mode for a second. But I mean, this is basically Tactician difficulty. Dude, these guys have like all sorts of crazy, like it's kind of, oh man. All right, we got to get, I got to get serious here. I got to get really, really serious. I mean, there's, this is, this is nutty. Let's think for a second. We got to focus them down. So we got uh, 28 HP. I have this guy in my face right now. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to take an invisibility potion. Hey, Wyvern, the Netflix news is real, but they have to strike a deal with Arian first? No way. I'm going to have to look into that after the stream. That's crazy. All right, folks, hold on. I'm in a pickle right now. I'm in a bit of a pickle. Honestly, that might not be a bad idea. I wish I could get three. Can I? No. Let's go. Let's do the head there. Oh, it's so close to wanting to give me three right now. It's it's actually insane how close it is. It's not going to do it. 
All right, 28 HP, 63. Let's go after these two. Okay. Um, I'm also going to... Use the valuable, valuable, valuable invisibility potion this early on in Act 2. All right. See ya! I'm not scared anymore. Oh, damn. Gale's almost dead. Okay, okay, that helps a little bit. This is, this is batshit crazy. I literally thought this was just going to be a walk in the park. I got to get some, uh, hold on. Do I have light in here? Let's see. I thought I had light on Lazel. Is that not, is her weapon not lit up anymore? Oh, you know why? Because we had our, it's not her turn. 63, 63. 56 sleeping, so we want to go after probably this one right now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Can't use whole person on these creatures. Still not too worried about it. I think I got this. I got this under control, folks. You just gotta trust me. I'm not gonna wipe to a bunch of mean locks. Are you kidding me? That would be a joke. That would be a straight up joke. Another fight. Let's go. Alright. Man, if I just rested before this, I would have the daylight spell going on in here right now. I don't have dancing lights. Um, you know what I probably do have, actually, now that I think of it? Does spiritual weapon give off daylight? I don't think it does. Shadow Heart's mace does, but we're currently locked in fear. Um, you know what I might have? Smoke powder bomb wouldn't be too bad. Void bulb. Want to save those if I can. Potion. Feather fall. Wizard's bane. I don't think I have one of those potions that I had earlier in the Underdark. I do have a couple of potions of speed, but I am not using them for this fight. I have four potions of speed, and I feel like I'm going to need those later on in the game. So I am going to save those. Let's see what I have for scroll. Spiritual weapon. I do have a mirror image scroll. Web. Fear. Round of Madness. Lure, Stone Skin. You know, this guy's sleeping right now. I'm wondering if I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. Hey, okay, we're out of invisibility. Currently frightened. Let's go ahead and I'm going to hold my ground. 69 HP, nice. Concentration broken, that didn't last long, okay. All right, one at a time. We got 41 HP, we're gonna go after this one. That's nice, That's exactly what I need. God, Spirit Guardians would have these jabronis dead in two freaking seconds right now, it's not even a joke. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're looking pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and uh, let's take a small potion with her. Got to start using those up as they start to become less powerful the more and more that I play. All right, Lazel is back. Switch to a melee weapon. There we go. Now we got light going on in the area. -hoo -hoo. Folks, that is a wrap right now. Lazel has been freed. And all I'm saying, just 16%. I'm still frightened right now. God bless, dude. This is ridiculous. I'm disturbed right now. Actually disturbed. 42% with that off. 
let's go ahead and do we're gonna do a pommel strike and then a regular attack see ya Ooh, oh obscure remember you need to roll a critical hit is reduced by one aha Mirror image is just, I'm telling you guys, it is so good. I won this fight, I'm not worried about it anymore. When you're trying to be conservative, you know, and save spell slots and not use potions and stuff, some of these fights get a little crazy. But I'm happy that I didn't rest and I'm happy that I didn't really use anything except the one invisibility potion, I can't complain. 41 HP, 37 and 43, and right in front of me we have a why can't I see that guy? 55. All right, so we're gonna want to... Um, I think I'm probably going to... I'm gonna keep it safe. I'm gonna go Magic Missile level two. Yeah, I like it. Should have taken a potion with Gal, but I didn't. It is what it is. All right, one, two. Beautiful. Spiritual weapon still up. Um, don't need a potion. And Lazel is back. Oh, no longer frightened. Actually, I s nope. Okay, I have mean lock fear. I become frightened unless it succeeds a wisdom saving throw. Eighty-eight percent chance right now against this creature right here. Watch this. See ya. Turn it off. See ya. See ya. Oh, perfect. They're lined up nicely for a nice sunbeam. <laughs> I just got eight damage from an opportunity attack from a wizard. That's crazy. 40, 24... 38. Let's go magic missile level 2. Torment. Just to be safe, we're going to go ahead and drink regular potion. No choice but to keep going. And shatter. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. These things hit hard. Really do. 38 HP. I know it's cool when you produce flame it sheds a light in a 30 foot radius so you get light from that too we're gonna go ahead and sunbeam now if i can position this to where i can get three of them oh, i can't move because i'm frightened right now about to hit my own team with it not even kidding lazel's got 70 lazel if i can do this without hitting my bard i'm doing it nope i can't three hp 35 Oh, I can't anyways. Doesn't let me do that one. Oh, it does. Okay. We're good. See ya. Torment. A little close for comfort. But that's okay. Let's get going. I pulled it off. All, all I need is one short rest and my party is just ready to tango. Don't jinx it, Wolf. 
What spell was that? That's Sunbeam that comes with the Lathander Mace. So it's not an actual spell that I have on my character. It's been a long day. Rack Shale, first thing. time on stream, Wolfheart. Been chill vibes so far. Well, thanks for stopping in, my new Twitch viewer. I appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary drops himself, the man, the myth, the legend. Enter the YouTube chat. How are you, man? Thanks for stopping in. I heard casting light on underwear gives you light without some of the annoying effects and cutscenes. <laughs> Wonder who tried that out. That's interesting. A little close for comfort prediction. This will be the slogan to describe Act 2. What are you trying to say? All right, let's push on. Open up. What path lies before me? Can't even remember what loot's in this room. We have a temple of Saluna, or a shrine to Saluna, statuette. A Salunite shrine, hidden away. Perhaps they had no choice but to hide. Got a special chest in here or something. We have Helford's note. I don't know if that's part of the quest. Yes, it is. The Mason's Guild seems to have been the center of the Selunite resistance in the area. We should seek it out and investigate it further. Okay, so we probably will be heading there today. I'm ready to go fight Malice Thorm. I want to fight Ketherick's family. I want to see some legendary actions. You guys agree? I don't want to fight stupid Meanlock, cockroaches. I'm above that. So what if I almost wiped? Yeah, I'm dragon. Hello. Spiky tree creatures might be dangerous. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Act two is a little, a little nerve wracking on honor mode. There's a lot of interesting fights that are probably best avoided, but we're gonna run right into them. Doing really good with XP. Got to give myself credit in that department. No traps, please. What are they doing? Why didn't they just go through the door? Sunbeam is fun. Need to remember to use Sunbeam more. It's always fun watching people get incinerated. You okay, Shy? I've got a long road ahead. Why would you want to watch people get incinerated? Yeah, I forget to use, like, my... All the abilities that you get on the left side over here are from, like, weapons and gear. I forget about those abilities quite often. And I probably will continue for the rest of my Baldur's Gate 3 life. And there's not a damn thing that you guys can do about it. Oh, action, not reaction. Looking ahead. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think there's any loot in here. Maybe the wine I can take, Baldur's Gape. Pretty sure all that has camp supply value. Mm -hmm. Wow, my camp sup Okay, a backpack within a backpack. Touche. 200 IQ play right there. As bad as it could have. And we're out of here. We take a long rest real fast. We're gonna head out into the Shadow Curse lands. Don't think there's anything else I need to do here. Just Althrid. Talk to the trader real fast. Don't act like I'm weird. Mister pushes bards off cliffs and laughs. I wish we had a bloody. What? That's a weird thing to say, Shy. I sold a pair of boots to that traitor. Can't believe it. Should I buy these?
Elixir of Peerless Focus. Advantage on concentration saves. Actually pretty good. I might buy that too. Buy that. Let's buy these up. And I'm going to sell... We don't need no education. All right. Take care. Long rest and we're gone. It's free. Staff. Wolf the Deceiver. Wolf just poker face denied. I'm not looking at the Twitch chat. I don't like you guys anymore. What's the YouTube chat doing? You guys are a lot nicer to me. Now I have Isabelle. I know. I'm really excited to see how that turns out for sure. Hey, there's Helson. He's all the way over here. We got to talk to him because I did do the art color quest. So we'll talk to Helson first. Hey, Casey. Wolf is legit an evil player. Curious how the Relican fight will go down in honor mode. Or I could avoid that one. I don't think I'm going to avoid too many fights in Act 3. You know, just for the sake... If I was playing offline, I might book it to the final fight just so I could get, you know, my golden dice. But for your guys' entertainment, I'll probably engage in most fights. Oakfather's blessings to you. Maybe with the exception of of Anser, <laughs> the dragon. That shit scared the hell out of me on my on my uh, first run on balanced. It was, in my defense, when I played my first run, the fight was bugged, and the uh, the little you know stone. Barriers didn't actually protect me from any damage. Larian later on patched that to where the cover actually helped you. I remember I went behind cover in that fight, and then Answer does like some crazy AoE, and everybody in my party has like 10 HP left. I was like, well, what the hell is the point of these little these little tactical barriers that you placed in the fight? Alright, um. There's a flaming fist at the last light. The curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy called Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Thaniel is no ordinary child. Okay. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. Save everything. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Oh, yeah, this is good. Nice, Helson's leaving the party, finally. You know what I'm saying? Getting sick and tired of looking at his little mosquito arms all day. Arlac over there, okay. Hey, Warding Bond is still up with Lazel. Wait, where is uh, Zenith? He's still concentrating on that? How come I don't see Zenith in the camp? Nobody likes that guy anyways. Who cares? Let's go to bed. Oh, that's nice. Auto select 104. That makes sense. Okay. Good call, Larian. God, man. There's such a... There's such like a low class company. You know what I mean? a lazy company how dare there be a bug this late why am I using 28 potatoes right now I feel like I'm starting to run low got 42 let's let's do some of these now I need 10 perfect Your stomach churns around and around oh man hold on is folks each moment brings a new surge Got a dark urge scene here. Companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. He thinks he might end the world. But you and I could do far worse. You could do so much better, my lady. Can't even do math properly. You heard it's just a display bug? Huh. I'm not going to test it out when I'm in Act 2. 
I can't test it on honor mode because if it doesn't work and I use up all my camp supplies then I'm screwed. What in the hells do you want? I am That's here cool. to watch your moment of triumph, my loathly master. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, as somebody who doesn't know how this is going to play out, I don't know if there's a way out of this. You've already killed Elfira. There is a way out of that, but I wouldn't have known it in the, at the moment. In the moment. I might have to give up the elf. <laughs> hey, Oliver, what's up? Go on, Gal. Gal's my wizard. I like him. I need him in my group, so I have that spell versatility. I'm not even using a Starion on this run. You know what I mean? I keep forgetting you can scroll down. Okay, thanks for letting me know. You misunderstand. I don't care about him at all. Huh, okay. Wow. I'm in a romance with every character. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Uh-oh, okay. Why'd you guys choose that? Why would you guys tell me to choose that? <laughs> Master, I am a professional. I've seen the two of you together. Every one of your darkest desires craves him. Man, I really he hope he doesn't forget die. his god for you, but you won't for him. Of that I know. I'm not killing Gale. I'm killing Astarion. I'll do it myself right now. I just don't know what to answer. There's really no good line here. We are indomitable together. You underestimate us. You are wrong to consider another your equal. It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little moon maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I don't like this guy. You must be joking. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum Befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lady. The cool character, though. One your yellow. companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the world. Kind of curious what happens if I wake him. As your hand approaches his body, it wavers. It longs to close around his throat. Oh no. Shouldn't have chose that dialogue option. Number one, surrender to the urge. Do your worst. Or number two, resist. Wake him up. Dude, this can't be real. Is this really happening right now? God, I'm about to lose my wizard on honor mode. I'll just turn a Starion into a wizard.
Mm. A pleasant dream gives way to an even more pleasant reality. Wait. I'm not sure I like the look in your eyes. What's wrong? A wicked wretch came to me in the night and told me something horrible. You're quite sure it wasn't a dream? Cheese partaken at a late hour can wreak havoc on the unconscious. Go on. Tell me about it. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. This is like insanely intense right now. I don't even want to look over at the chat because I kind of like the mystery of not knowing what's going to happen here, even if it costs me a companion. I mean, Gale's not the character I care the most about with this, but okay. We could start loving Gale too. I'm going to kill the person I care most about. You, Gale. Unless you can stop me. I... See? Sweet that you care enough to murder me. Mind if you don't? We're in this together. Theoretically. You should have confided in me sooner. What is it? A curse? Compulsion? Enthrallment? Whatever it is, we're gonna free you of it. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile, and you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. Easy there. Your mind is your own, as are your limbs. Don't do anything rash. This is pretty cool. No wonder why the Dark Urge is highly recommended by so many players. But the power? I will scoop out those watchful eyes and toss them to the dogs. Try to bite him. <laughs> Alright, resist and try to express understanding. 18 DC, that's insane. But it's no problem. Insane, but it's no problem. Steady. You can rein this in. Nobody's getting hurt. Try to express gratitude. Why do I feel like this is going to be a DC 20? Oh my god. You know what? In my defense, I deserve these very good rigged rolls here. After all the shit I went through, with all of my misses, misses at over 65 to 75 percent with my attack rolls, the previous sessions, I deserve this. Gratitude can wait. You're not out of the woods yet. Stay focused. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. Wow, this is great. This is great video game content you once here. Once again, inhabit your own mind. Welcome back to the land of the Lucid, where explanations are owed, if you don't mind. You know what? At this point, I think I'm just going to tell Gail. I'm in love. Confess everything. You have been fiercely fighting against your dark urge. This is surmountable, I'm sure. I'll protect you until you prevail. Gail's a good person, man. That's why I liked him so much on my first run. You are allowed to hate me for this. Hate's too easy for my liking. Let's take the high road on this. Chin up. We'll best this. Well, whatever it is. At least there's no shortage of enemies out there for you to kill. A veritable feast for the violent at heart. You know what? I just may let Gale take me to Pound Town up in the clouds. You know what I'm saying? I just may yet let that happen.
GM Dragon. Thank you for the $2 super chat. You get 10x more if you murder the vampire boy. Cloudy Poundy Town. That was really cool. I'm happy that uh, I got that scene. Seems like a lot of the really important Dark Urge scenes are tied to long resting. So even though I'm kind of going quickly through dialogue in the game, I might be missing like little scenes here and there. I feel like these these camp scenes are like the real content for the Dark Urge, so this is pretty sweet. Alright, let's get out of here. Dariana's super supportive too. Okay, um... Yeah, I think we're good to head out. Let's go ahead and do some buff. Let me prepare Glyph of Warding with Gale. We're gonna get rid of... Yeah, we'll get rid of the laughter. What if I should use Conjure Elemental? I feel like it's a good idea to have, like, another... Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of Chromatic Orb. Screw it. I have Glyph of Warding. I'm gonna call in an Elemental right now. A little Dwarf brother. Still breathing, despite everything. Let's head on out. I'll go this way. I don't think there's anything on the back side over here. I'll come over here and check real fast. Ah, never mind. I don't want to navigate the traps. Back into the shadow curse we go. A little symbiotic. Doing a redemption dark playthrough ML. Trying to be a good boy. Or girl, excuse me. All is ash and meat. There is work to do. Okay, so we have a few. F we have a few fights. Um. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Hold on, sorry. Gotcha. Wanted to see if Helson was here before I head out. You know what Larian has to do better? They have to make the, you know, click boxes for the doors. They need to make it like, just so you just like, I don't know. It's so annoying like when you're trying to run through a door and you can't because you end up just clicking on the door. You guys know what I'm saying, don't you? Here's Helson right here. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. <laughs> Daniel and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We, we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, I've just done this. wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Gal has dialogue for last last night. You, art color. Note the light of the lamps, the color of my face. You are not in the shadow fell anymore. Do you hear that, sir? You're safe. Lost in the shadows all this time. He must have left some part of himself behind. Something we can use. If he does, he isn't saying. Why isn't Helson pitching in right now? We found a letter in his pocket. I can't seem to find it now. But he doesn't seem to have any reaction to it anyway. Held on to it for a hundred years, though. And what do you... Sure, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. 
Welcome. Mm. Thaniel. It's true then. He's met Thaniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. Any ideas? Small man? If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. I'll see what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. Shut up, prickly, puny pear tree biceps. You little biatch, Helson. Smack him right on the face. Helson met the mysterious unconscious man and is certain he knows where Thaniel is. Helson suggested something from the man's past might help wake him. But we gotta find something. And I love the music here at the last light in. It's just so good. He keeps saying Thaniel's name. He must know. What if remove curse? No, it's not a curse that would tell you if it was. Okay, let's get out of here. These things have stayed interesting. One day I'll catch a break. Too dark to tell. I don't even know what my NT. I don't know what my settings are. Thanks. Shirts. Shirts Cax. Tough name to pronounce. Shirts. Shirts? Is that what we can call you? Also needs to drink more protein shakes. Needs a lot more than that. He should probably be shooting steroids up his ass every single day. He wants to get on my level. He doesn't want to get smacked around. Alright, so I think I want to clear out. Let's go ahead and clear out this area. Yeah, let's clear out this area before I go into the Etheric family area. Let's get this map clear. Get as much XP as I can. If anything, I think I'm more scared of the combatants in the other area Let's of Act 2, so... Just, I don't remember where these combat encounters are. The, the Shadow Curse is such a confusing, confusing landscape. Out of sight. Out of mind. Time to press ahead. Okay, I know this area. Oh yeah, this is, uh... I wonder if this guy has legendary actions. Doesn't look like he does. He has 202 HP. Honestly, a lot of times in the past I've set up my party. Is that an iron ladder? It is. Set up my party. I had somebody come up here. I had him get up top and I was waiting up there. But I'm starting to think I might just... I think this thing can pull you down. I think that was the problem with getting the high ground in this fight. All right, here we go. Staying out of sight. But I think I am going to, doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. We have clear lighting in here. Hold on, how do you get up to that back area? If the Yankee jump would get me up there for sure. I know this fight can be a little annoying because put all the uh, roots on the ground and it makes it really hard to move. Yeah, any creature making a melee attack against this mess of writhing vines may become entangled. That's crazy. That is actually just crazy. Okay. We're going to do melee attacks anyways. Don't see a thing from down here. Ready for anything. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Hmm. 
Are you serious right now? Okay, hold on. This could actually be a good thing. This could actually be a good thing. Let's let everybody take their moves. Oh no, Gal, you stupid. Stupid wizard. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh crap. That's not good. That's not good at all. Houston, we have a major problem right now. I mean, a major problem. Okay, worth it. Totally worth it. 100% worth it. Let's go ahead and I'm going to... I wonder if I could throw potion up there and heal. Yes, I can. So let's go ahead and throw... Let's throw a superior potion. Then I'm also going to do a healing word. Level 3. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely incredible. Okay, now I'm gonna retreat. My feet can carry me. Time to strike. Lazel's got her turn too. We're gonna go ahead and second wind. Perfect. Could even action surge too. Kick some ass. We got this guy right here. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to. Okay, so watch this. I wonder if I'm going to get entangled in those vines right there. Make way. <laughs> of course not. Alright, let's take these jabronis to Pound Town. I'm gonna save that. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking really good right now. And actually, I'm gonna send him up. I'm gonna have him. <laughs> my little. My little Azer dwarf. It's gonna be used as bait. All nearby creatures take damage and start burning fiercely. You do Searing Smite. 20% disadvantage. Wow. Minthara. I'm not exactly sure what Minthara is going to be doing. I did knock her out back at the Goblin Fortress, but this is going to be a good run. I'm not sure if... I don't plan on having Minthara at my party, but whether or not I get her at my camp, I'm not entirely sure. Alright. I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, usually best just to focus on one. Honestly, I'm going to come up here. This is going to be great. Beautiful stuff. 29 and 29. Let's go ahead and... There's a weapon right here. Never works. Charm never works. Make way. 
god, man. I'm back. I am back. folks forty nine percent chance of landing fairy fire whole person's not gonna work I need hold monster with of warding could just do damage yeah let's do damage let's go with a oh that's great three damage that was stupid It's worth kind of spreading these characters out so he has to turn one way or the other. Yeah, see that, that little, little thorn whip is the reason why it's tough if you go on the high ground up here. I remember being caught off guard by that on my first run when I set up. I, I noticed that this guy was here and I was trying to be so careful with my setup. And the plan went to shit once he started using thorn whip all right 40 percent chance with great weapon master on let's go ahead and give bardic inspiration and then let's see what we can do nice i love it great damage Got fire, necrotic, and cold. You don't want to do lightning. So let's go ahead and do force. Was certainly a scary start. <laughs> Nothing went as planned. But that's okay. Sometimes you just gotta stay cool, calm, and collected. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. And uh, you'll be a okay. I'm ready. Have to keep pushing. Nice. About 60% through level 7. I haven't even made it to the toll booth yet. Holy loot. So what might you be hiding? You had two broken moon lanterns? Hey DZ. They have different poses during character creation. My main character is a lore bard right now, Rack. Thinking about doing a multi-class. Um, one level, one or two levels into one of the martial classes so my lore bard can have nice armor and also use a weapon. Be proficient in a martial weapon. And a shield. Probably be a one-handed sword and a shield. I think that would be nice. My, I could get my AC up quite high. But right now, I'm just a full lore bard. And it's been pretty nice, because like I mentioned earlier, I'm usually somebody that plays more offensively than defensively, so it's nice playing like a lore bard, even though I do have some offensive spells with my lore bard, of course. Hmm. It's nice like using fairy fire and things like that that I typically would never use on a run. 
it's kind of changed the way the game feels in combat and it's 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 been really enjoyable could be useful like debuffing the enemy and things like that i think i'm changing my play style because when i played rogue trader i also played the operative class which is based on debuffing the enemy but i also played that just because i knew in wrath of the righteous you didn't have ways to overcome your enemies you know, strengths and defenses it was like impossible to even get through a fight so i learned my lesson with owl cat games bard paladin talk to the pixie in the lamp yeah i'm gonna do that in a second here we'll go ahead and do that right now actually We're going to do it with my main character. Lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. You, you guys think this a is a Peter Pan Easter egg? Trapped within. These fey creatures hey, are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh, please! Oh, golly! Me, oh, my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. On your first run, when you do this for the first time, you don't know if you can really trust the pixie, so, like, you're nervous if you give up the moon lantern. But, uh, luckily it works in your favor. Legends tell of the Fey trapping people, not the other way around. Why are you in here? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Cruelty and cleverness are all too common bedfellows. Let's side with cleverness alone, shall we? See what we can do to save this verse loving pixie. Did I shake the bell? Is that an option? <laughs> I really think it'd be awesome if we had a game that was based in the Feywild, which is where these uh, Fey creatures are from. I think that'd be a really cool video game, a magical video game. It would probably feel a bit like Fable. Who are you? My name? My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? All right. Release the pixie. I wonder if I was supposed to ask for protection. Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Super DM Dave, thank you so much for the Canadian 10 super chat. Yo, Wolf and Pack, keep seeing Netflix trying to acquire BG3 for live action adaptation, but we all know Netflix does not do video game movies or shows well. I vote HBO. What say you? I did that. That's news to me today. A couple people were talking about it earlier. That gets me super excited. I don't think I care what platform does. I think I care who the director of it is. But I'm not sure. Thanks, man. Refuse to crush her. Ask her for help against the Shadow Curse. Sure, I can. But will I? Yeah, sure. Why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? Hmm. I think You're I'll welcome. prefer HBO though. I feel like they've done more high quality shows than Netflix has, but I could be wrong. The Philly Greed Feywild Bell. Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your... All right, so now we have the Pixie Blessing. The Shadow Curse cannot affect the creature thanks to a Pixie's protective magic. Yeah, it is kind of, it's so cool how Larian designs their games. Like, if you never decided to try that, like, you'd be using a Moon Lantern in all of Act 2. It's cool, man.
All right, let's go to... I know we have the Thaniel scene up in the north here. I did do that on my first run. I just never completed the quest. So we want to go... Let's go this way. What's hiding here? What happens if you kill the pixie as the dark herds? I'm not sure, but I'm not going to find out. Forgot about that. You know why this is one of the easiest fights in the game? Because I have a cleric in my group. Thought The Last of Us was overhyped. I thought it was alright. I didn't mind it. thought it was pretty good. I'm not fanboying over it though. I wonder if I just did this, if they would all die. I think they would. Screw Spirit Guardians, watch this. Light Cleric for the win. I must keep going. Oh, oh lovely little pick me up. Never a dull moment. Is that blood? No, never mind. If the gods are watching me. Hmm. Isn't this comp extremely dependent on Lazel? Why would you say that? Because she's the most powerful in my group? Most comps have, have one character that's more martially adept than the others. Uh, with that said, she's definitely my MVP. I'm not dependent on Lazel. I mean, my my lore bard is more so a support character than an offensive character. Clerics are a nice mix between both. I usually play them a little bit more offensively because, man, they're just so underrated with the spells that they have. As you guys saw, I just took down all those pros with one attack. And then Gal's a wizard, so I have all my all my wizard spells. So. But yes, in a way, I did kind of support Lazel with my Bardic Inspiration. Dependent on her? I wouldn't say that, though. Spirit Guardians, when dealing with all the rats, I know. It's just, you just stand there and they all just come at you. So much. So satisfying. Mitch, dropping the $10 super chat. Little trivia on first release, you had to shake the bell after every long rest to get the protection. Oh. Really? I feel like I don't remember doing that on my first run. Maybe I need more pockets. But it makes sense because I Shy was talking about in the chat earlier too. Let's go up to the north a little bit more. Check out up there. Lazel is your highest single target DPS. If you have a battle master fighter in your group and you know like what battle dice to choose, it's going to be hard to find classes that out damage a battle master, especially later on in the game. Fighters are just just good. Just a good class. Fairly simple, highly effective. Especially if you understand feats like Great Weapon Master or the Sharpshooter feats, which you can do with you know, dueling hand crossbows. Just one of the best classes in the game for combat, period. I 
Battlemaster specifically. I mean, the fighter's all right. And Arcane or Eldritch Knight, I don't know. I've never really been a fan of Eldritch Knight or Arcane Trickster. I think they're cool for RP reasons, but it's just like, especially with multi-classing around, I just feel like I would never play those subclasses. Where am I right now? I don't recall this. Shadow Curse lands are confusing. Oh, okay. This is the... Okay. Chai, thank you so much for gifting two tier one subs. Angel and Summer Chillin, I like the name. Dual Wield Wizard. Hey Shy, does the quotes work over on Twitch? Still don't know what that means, but you just tell me if it's working or not. I like running around with a torch in my hands, though, even though I don't need it right now. Just because it looks really cool. The regular torches, they look phenomenal. Really adds to, like, the visual fidelity. What to do? Especially when you zoom super far out and you send your party to go one place and you just watch them. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? Let's move. More for me. I don't have any. Um, oh, I thought that you guys were the ones that added the quotes. Or maybe moderators can add quotes? I don't know. Okay. I know I had the option to. I didn't really know what it did, so I didn't. I think I added a test one, but I, don't, I still don't know the purpose that they serve. We'll have to get Tardis in here sometime. He'll test it out. Elfira? Running a short rest party party. So my Lazel is Battlemaster. Everyone else has to have some resource that's replenished on short rest. Yeah, it's a great... Uh, Great party composition you got going there. You have a warlock in your group too? Okay, so we've returned to Grim Forge. Let's go back up. Want to make sure I look for all the loot here. I think VR edition would be so cool. Eldritch Knight multi-class abjuration wizard. Oh, interesting. I like that idea. Can you unlock waypoints with a familiar? Not sure. I think no. Could be wrong though. Right tool will do the trick. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. Never a dull moment. Old architectural collection. We got any architects in the chat? A pretty cool job. Tough job, challenging, but cool. Yeah, Streamlabs is modded. to live in more interesting times. Hmm, I'll take that. Something good here, I hope. God, I love H2O. I'm so happy that I love water. Like, I love it. Love the taste. I feel like 90% of the time when I'm drinking something, it's water. And I'm so happy that my body feels that way. Because <laughs> it's so good for you. Over there. So much better than drinking soda. Get 
best. Now, as the saying goes, nobody cares, gal. Got your yipper yapper. Okay. Um, is that really all that's up here? I guess so. I feel like I missed something up here. You haven't had water today, Shy? You better start drinking. Eight glasses a day, says the doctor. See you later, Necron. Yeah, I saw the nominations. All right, so we want to go. Well, we're gonna go over. Yeah. Okay. Can't give up now. All waters are different. True. You know, I used to drink tap water all the time, but when I moved into my current apartment, I don't really trust the pipes here. The old ass house. And I haven't drank in tap water in like two years now, and I finally had it the other day, and it definitely tastes different than the water I've been drinking. But before that. Tap water was all I knew. It was really good. East tracks. Okay, we want to go this way. What to do? A couple dead harpers up here. Hey, it's a night orchid. I can give that to Shadowheart. No time to rest. Rob M dropping a fifty dollar super chat in the YouTube chat. He has nothing important to say. <laughs> Thanks so much, Rob. Appreciate your long time support. Thanks, man. Hope you're doing well. Game looks better on your stream than when I play the game with GeForce Now. That makes sense. GeForce Now is gonna be a notch down in quality for most people. Might be a little bit blurry because it's being streamed to you. The bit rates can be a little bit lower. No one stopped me yet. All things considered, though, GeForce Now looks pretty good. I don't know if I've seen this scene before. Where lies your guilt? <sighs> we need mode. What's going on here? You walk in the darkness unafraid. How curious. The cool raven. A fair point. Perhaps this one could assist us. The murdered lie silent. The raven asks, will you be their voice? They're speaking in riddles. Speak plainly. What are you talking about? Forgive me. It has been some time since I spoke to another. This woman tended a bar where she took her patrons, her friends, into her confidence, promised their secrets were safe with her. Yet she turned their words into knives and stabbed them in the back. They died because of her, and to this day her victims lie unavenged. I doubt you're here out of the goodness of your heart. I have no heart. I seek a record of this one's crimes, written in her own hand. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for I've her I've seen this before. Crimes. Kill the dead, kill the killed dead. Kill the killed dead again and again. Your mind swoons with possibilities. This blessed loon may murder the same soul as many times as he wishes. No. I seek only justice, not murderous deviancy. I offer you a chance to avenge this murderer's victims. Will you take it? I mean, I am the Dark Urge, right? What do you guys think? Hey, Gary.
What are you guys thinking? Any ideas here? Undead comrade wants number one. Okay. He wants number one. All right. I will. What must I do? I thank you. As to those who died by her words. Go to the distillery. Oh. The one she calls the waning moon. Find the ledger and bring it to me. Okay, cool. All right. That's a really cool character. This one is a murderer who walks free. She deserves to be punished. Or will you deny? I seek a record of this one's crimes. A ledger written in her own hand. The joy of bringing suffering to the unpunished. Go and together. does not stir. Worth a try. Man, that's amazing, isn't it? That's a cool looking character. Burden of Time Aura. Beasts and humanoids have disadvantage on saving throws while within 10 feet to this character. I thought so. Dude's a class A psychopath. Setting up camp out in the Shadow Curse lands. I've got a long road ahead. Psycho. Get paid. Hey, hold on, let me see. Let me check her uh, condition real fast. Yeah, she's, she's nothing. Let's move. Can't be cursed if you're dead, can you? Crazy to be playing this game for the third time and still just be having fun. It's curious. Isn't that crazy? Where the heck is the Faniel kid thing? thought that was up here somewhere. Maybe I have to go up there. Let's go check out this area. Oh, it's not a fast travel point. Try not to miss any combat encounter. Oh! Spoke too soon. Uh-oh. Undead comrade. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. He's a shadow feller. No, I've never, I've never successfully lifted the curse. On my first run, I just didn't finish the quest. And then on my second run, I was doing evil, so I didn't want to lift it anyways. We're going to try to do it this time. Third for you too, Keith. Best game I've ever played. It's awesome. All right, we got another one of these big things again, but it's a lot. It's a lot less lethal. My faith will protect me. Relentless. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, guys. I think I have to add some more emojis and stuff over to the Twitch chat sometime. Bear with me. I'm still pretty much a noob over on Twitch, and I don't really understand the dashboard when I go to it. Alright, currently difficult terrain vine movement speed halved. Um, okay. Not worried about it at all. Eighty one percent with disadvantage.
Oh, I didn't even notice these guys right here. Should have used overheat. How did that happen? Oh, the training shield is only plus one armor class. That's funny. Makes sense. My eyes grow heavy. Best to make camp. Should mind my step. What's in here? Need the cute wolf email. Okay. All right. I'll do that, Shy. I'll get that done. Well, let's spread out my group when I'm opening chests and things. Way. Yeah, Keith, this is my first time playing a light cleric on a full run, and I'm really enjoying it. I mean, obviously in early access it was really deadly, but damn, that is... That's really good, because I feel like a lot of the channel divinities for a lot of the cleric subclasses get underused. They're not used that much with the light cleric. I'm using this thing every fight. You guys are made of wood. Or if they're rotten wood. Or wet wood. How much farther can I go? All right, let's play it safe. I'm going to go ahead and take a long rest. Bard is pretty cool. Yeah, Bard's a nice class. Mind. Great class. Never quiet. Fun class. Hopefully I don't murder, any murder anyone in my sleep. Oh my god, dude. My thoughts are hallowed ground. Yet you've crawled your way in. Yes. Uninvited. I'm obsessed by the ground under your feet and the wind over your head. You're naked. I see your face just before I sleep and after I wake. I ask myself, are you worthy? Sackphone has to. There is only one way for you to prove it. Saying I love you. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. We fight. I test you in battle. Dance with me. Bleed with me. Bruise me so that you might possess me. I've never actually seen this before. I've never romanced Lazelle. Let's fight. I'll show you that I'm worthy of your obsession. I, I don't know if I'd want to fight Lazelle, to be honest with you. As a bard, too? Oh, crap. Oh, this is pretty cool. I know I've heard people talk. Oh my god, she's a battle master. I'm not getting any action tonight. Nope. Is, what? She has cloud kill? Dude, this isn't a TPK, is it? Lazelle's touch is unusually gentle. Her fingers lightly graze your bruises. bullshit and wipe away your sweat. No more. I can't bear it. I've torn flesh from monsters and men. I've laughed as they suffered. Imagine if that was a TPK. But you... I don't want to hurt you. I want to protect you. Well, let's get the coconut oil For and get things moving, Lazel. Come on. I am yours. Got shit to do tonight. Say the word. Yo, 
you've gone soft. Pull her close. Press your lips against hers. Yeah, you gotta take the initiative here. Lazelle took it in the fight. Oh wow, the sound effects. Okay. You know, some of us just excel naturally. Others don't. You guys just happen to be watching the right streamer. Gal was happy about last night. Let's find out. Your cheeks are flush. There's a twinkle in your eye. Uh oh. <laughs> but I think I am no longer the cause. Lazel. I could scarcely believe it at first. But not seeing the glances you share, the way you lean into each other's whispers. Hmm. There is something between you two. To seek the heart of a Gith Yankee warrior takes a good deal of courage. I can only think what you share must be quite serious to brave such a task. I, um, thought you would show me the respect of telling me first, but no matter. You can tell me now. Who is it to be? Me or her? Just because I share something with Lizelle doesn't mean you and I need to drift apart. Hmm. We'll have to disagree on that score. Competing against a Githyanki warrior would be very poor for my health. I'm sorry. But to know I had less than the whole of your heart, I can't do it. No one I would give all of myself to you. Gail's a pansy. Call me greedy, stubborn. In any case, know that I harbor no ill will. I would rather see you happy with another all right, I choose you, Gal. You would sacrifice what you have with Lazelle for me. She will not be pleased. She's intense, but not unreasonable. She'll get over it. I think you're right. Not one to let emotions get in the way, I'd say. I am beyond lucky to have you. Sometimes. All right. You guys want to know why I did that? Two reasons. One. The dark urge scene with Gale, when he helped me through that, he deserves it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let the man get what he wants, okay? Number two, I've never seen the night scene yet, where you sit out in the plains and you look up at the sky and do some weird shit in the clouds. I'm all about that, okay? Number three, Lazel used my scroll of cloud kill. All right, I do have to run to the bathroom real fast, and then we're gonna continue this. So let me hit F5, and I'm gonna let you guys watch the beauty of the Shadow Curse lands. Yeah, okay, so be right back.
One second, but... Can't find my phone. Found it. Alright, so those of you guys that waited for me to go pee. We're going to go ahead and do another uh, Baldur's Gate 3 giveaway here from an anonymous donator. Or some Steam credits or a copy of BG3. Uh, we'll figure it out after. So if you'd like to participate in the giveaway... I'm going to need you to type this word into chat, okay? You got to be able to use Steam. Otherwise, you can't participate. Um, so, I want you guys to type in S-H-Y in the chat right now. Shy for Shy Violet, okay? May the highest roll win. Let the voting begin. We'll go to the tavern. Quick sip of ale. Whoever wins, make sure to shoot me a DM on Twitter or Instagram at WolfheartFPS. Email me at WolfheartFPS at gmail.com or message me on Discord. If you're not from the United States, tell me, okay? You gotta tell me because we're gonna have to become Steam friends and hey, it's a little bit more complicated. All right, and the winner is Bearism. Congratulations. Shoot me a DM and uh, we'll get you some Steam credits or a Baldur's Gate 3. Go we'll figure it out, all right? Shoot me a DM and preferably tonight so I can get that process started. Congratulations. And thank you to our community anonymous donator. Like I mentioned before, if you do want to do a giveaway for the stream, make sure to email me at wolfheartfps.com so we can set that up. I'm no longer doing giveaways through donations on stream. Rigged. <laughs> Congrats. Still breathing, despite everything. All right, um, let's go check out. Gotta finish up my buffs here. Let's do aid. Lovely day this. For now. Follow my little buddy. Time to dally. And these things have stayed interesting. Let's head to up here. Light on my feet. Party parrot. Oh yeah, I don't know if that... You know what, actually? That actually might work for Twitch chat. Was Bear on YouTube or Twitch? It actually might work, because I'm using Nightbot, which might actually take into account both chats. I didn't think of that. I'll have to look more into those settings. Wish I had a bag of holding. Wish I had a bag of holding. There used to be a chest that you could get in the arcane tower that would act as like a bag of holding and then Larian nerfed it. Larian nerfed the crap out of it. Is that blood? No, never mind. Act 2 is so cool, true. Yeah, I'm not sure how I can even check that, Shy, but I'm gonna look into it. Make sure we include our, uh, our Twitch friends into those giveaways. Rigged. You guys are calling my uh, my giveaways rigged. True. I can rig it actually. I'm actually able to boost it in favor of channel members or moderators. Right. But apparently that's illegal to do that. <laughs> I don't. I forget why, but it's like you're encouraging people so to become channel progress. members or something for gambling reasons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's some legality behind that. Stop doing that for the time being. I try to figure out 
I don't think it matters. Like, who's going to sue me? YouTube? Alright, so this brings us into... Oh, yeah, I remember this. I think you destroy the torches? Could be wrong. Um, let's just walk up and see what happens. My favorite type of battle. Unexpected. Dead. No time to waste. Shadow Mastiff Alpha. Seven HP. This will be a walk in the park. In the See who's alpha now. Ninety-nine. Holy crap! See ya, loser. Rogue Trader is a massive disappointment. Yeah, you know, I wasn't really a bit huge fan of it, which is why I'm not covering it right now. It seemed like a good game. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that really enjoy it, so I'm happy for them. Uh, the pacing was just too slow for me. Obviously not a fun stream game. And uh, the fact that I wasn't really, like, having that much fun, I didn't want to jump into it. I didn't want to spend my Christmas holidays studying the mechanics and everything when I'm really not having that much fun. Uh, but with that said, I wish Owlcat success, and I might play it a little bit offline here and there, but... Well, sorry to all of you guys that were hoping for Rogue Trader content on the channel. Let's do... I need Shocking Grass, that's what I need. I didn't really play enough of Rogue Trader either to, you know, make a video on it or anything, so I just decided I'm just not going to even talk about it much either, because I don't want to dissuade people from buying it. I don't want to persuade, I just, you know, I didn't really play it enough to have a really good opinion on it. I just knew that I wasn't really having that much fun on my first couple sessions, so. I also not really like a huge fan of Warhammer 40k lore, and in such a text-heavy game, if the lore isn't really your thing, that can kind of slow the pacing down a little bit, too. The thunder to snuff the continual flames feels wrong. <laughs> Playing 50 hours during exam week just to get to the epilogue in a hardcore run. Had to restart five times now. We talking? Uh, you're talking honor mode? <laughs> yeah, this is a dark urge. Resist, my friends. Eileen, thanks for stopping into the Twitch chat. All right, let's go ahead and 
I'm just gonna disengage. Get me out of here. On my way. I can't even catch my breath. We're gonna do regular shots. Not gonna waste anything right now. We have another battle coming up here very shortly. Traitor's pretty buggy right now. Anything of use? I was so, a Pathfinder. I would have been so hyped for a Pathfinder third game, for sure. Hopefully, they return to it after. Have to keep going. Although it is pretty cool, like that Rogue tra that the Warhammer 40k universe got a you know such such an in-depth CRPG, the first CRPG in the 40k universe. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and do this encounter now. Measles. Oh, these things are funny. They're currently ambushing. Action makes reaction. I can't remember if these guys are... I know they do something, like they teleport you away or something along those lines. No, let's just shoot them. I'm not scared of them. Out of the shadows. See how your ambush goes. Get in there, Lazel. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Oh, damn! 88 HP? Holy crap! Wow. I didn't expect that. Damn it, man. Come on. Thirty-two. Let's go. See ya. Damn, one HP. I know what to do with a combatant that has one HP. Somebody order a magic missile. You know what? Let's do level three. Take that guy out, and we're gonna go all out on him. Back up a little bit out of their line of sight. Shadow Shark, I'm going to have you come over here and you're going to drop what I like to call a... Oh, that's not Shadow Heart. A Guiding Bolt with advantage. Or disadvantage. Okay, apparently it's too dark down here. Really now? Well, in that case... Move up a little bit. these creatures can be put to sleep. That would be pretty cool. Not enough movement. Yep, that guy's screwed. Uh, don't worry about what Dagger Gal is using. It's nothing special. I just didn't have uh, a one-handed weapon for him to use. There's nothing special about it. Probably like a plus one dagger. I'm using a shield with him because he's a human, and humans with the full release version of the game are able to wear light armor and use a shield. Otherwise, I would be using like a quarter staff that had nice magical powers or something. My path be true. Damn it, man. I'm not close enough to make my bonus action. These are kind of cute. I'm 
I'm a Warhammer fan, but as I said, it's too buggy. Things are janky. Well, I didn't plan that one out. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, now I think I can go ham sandwich on these guys. Wakey, wakey. God, I'm almost level eight. That's crazy. Uh, so on my balanced run, I'm pretty sure that I fought Catherick Thorm at level seven. That's how like far behind I was in leveling XP from where I'm at on this run. You know what I could use right now? A big, fat, juicy, filled with ketchup, <sighs> bacon, cheese, slab of bun on top and on the bottom, big Mac. Man, I would just, you guys don't even want to know what I would do to a big Mac right now. Like it would be, <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. You guys don't even want to know. Assume nothing. Let's just say it doesn't belong on YouTube, but it would fit on in, in the Twitch culture. I could live stream it on Twitch. Let's just say it involves uh, some whitey tighties, one sock, three bottles of ketchup, two rolls of toilet paper. And uh, some ACDC playing in the background. <laughs> Topless vespers. Ready and willing. And that's just part one. But it's annoying when they start teleporting around. Yeah, I, I feel like I recall in my previous sessions that. They would teleport and like my character got teleported away too. I remember like fighting like way out here. Like seriously, I was like way out here and my characters were almost dead. It was really annoying. All right, let's get out of here. Got an idol of Saluna. Objective noted. Do a short rest to get our dice back. Who am I missing? What are you doing, Mr. Azer? I'm also missing somebody else. What the hell, gal? 
You stupid, stupid One wizard. Believe. Very well. ACDC mana culture. <laughs> we'll stop for the love of <laughs> Holy craving a burger. There's a stuffed burger place called Rock Burger. Oh, dang, that sounds good. Anybody else craving some stuffed crust pizza? That would be... I mean, that would be incredible. No, never mind. Don't waste a step. Something good here, I hope. Yeah, we're getting into unknown territory here. I know there's a battle over here somewhere. Order a burger and eat. Nah, I don't do DoorDash. DoorDash is a ripoff. It'll have to be after the stream. No one stopped me yet. You guys like when I do like all the encounters in an area or would you prefer that I like book it to the bigger ones? I'm moving pretty fast on this run with skipping most of the dialogue. Fallen druids of the Emerald Enclave. They died trying to stop Catherick Thorn long ago. Yes, ma'am. Little Catherick Thorn history right there. And the Shadow Curse began. The Enclave and the Harpers. Attacked Moonrise. Catherick set off the Shadow Curse. Ooh, I don't know if I've been up here before. I gotta sneeze. Oh man, I think I have a hernia after that. Holy crap. Getting too old to sneeze properly. Alright, one more area to check, and that's down here. Like when you check everything, because that's how you find things you missed before. Hello, <laughs> Keelan, Kaylin. Just me catching a wolf live stream. Welcome, hello. Thanks. Something over there. What are my thoughts on the self-same trial? I don't really have any thoughts on it. Like, how do you beat it, are you asking? Threw my back out from a sneeze, or at least I know I'm not alone. Get for Mirko, kill the Mind Flare. We'll see when we get there what the legendary actions are. I'll keep that in mind, though. This is the back of Moonrise Towers. It's kind of cool how you can get there from, like... Wait, is it Moonrise? Yeah, it is. We actually just go right into Moonrise right now. Is that Moonrise? That's Moonrise. I should go kill the Kuotoa. Kuotoa would level me up. Nice, oh, solid find right there. All the content so I can size it up for my honor run mode. So far, the regular the regular combat encounters haven't been too bad. They just felt like tacticians. The uh, Let's have a look. the boss fights that have been standout fights. The only one that's really given me a problem so far is the grim fight. Thought I was gonna TPK on that. Everything else has been manageable, but to be determined here as to how far I actually make it. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm going to have no problem going through the game, but you never know. It only takes one mess up. Let's have a look. Ooh, 
Ooh, oh. Yeah, Grimla's close. I also didn't land a single melee martial attack on the Grim boss, not even one. And all my attacks are above 50%, which made it much more intense. There's a hyena down here. My patience wanes. First hyena. Keeping her. That's not how you do it. Yeah, I have been enjoying honor mode. It's been highly engaging just because you don't know what to expect. Thanks, Elliot. Inventory is so full. Your inventory is full. Go check your inventory. And report back to me, okay? True. I do got to clean it out. All right, let's get this fight over with. Didn't take long. Did I miss something up here? I think I did. Oh, this is where I need to go. Okay. I know I missed something in this. I missed the little kid fight with the uh, invisible parents. All right, what do, you, what do we got around here? You know what, we'll just do this with Lazel alone. I don't know what I'm looking at down here. It's showing a field of vision, yet I don't see anything. Where is this damn thing? Is that it right there? It's camouflage. All right, let's just walk into the vision cone. All right, here we go. We got 28 HP. Okay. Oh, that's not good. All right, we might need backup. What to do? Send in the bard. I just want the little milk. Yes. There is work to do. You guys want to see something cool? Oh, our gal's about to be in combat. Anyway. Watch this. Are you guys ready for this? I'll be so pissed if this puts me in combat. You know what? That this isn't what I wanted to do. This is, this is not what I wanted, but I'm doing it anyways. For some reason I thought I was gonna be able to fly and then use spirit guardians. Now I wish I had an evocation wizard. That would be nice. Oh, nice. Gal doesn't even have any spell slots. That's good. Oh, 
Oh, where the hell did he come from? What the hell? These boots have seen everything. Not even worth going. I'll kill this guy in like two turns here. I think. Where the hell did this thing go? Oh, he's right there. So let's go ahead and teleport to right. Cool. Just walk down there. Hello, Juan Run. I watch your vids on YouTube. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Twitchverse. And hello, Morgana. A lot of fantastic content creators stopping in tonight. And the one and only Adoram, Ontario. Hello. My favorite BG3 fights? Good question. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Favorite BG3 fight? Probably some of the fights where there's less enemies. <laughs> there's not like 50 of them that you have to kill. Those ones drag on pretty long. Got to focus. You guys have a favorite fight? On my way. Favorite fight in all of the game. Hmm. Now I wanted to say the Orin fight, but I think it's more so the atmosphere for the Orin fight. And I put Orin down pretty fast because of the Artistry of War spell. I just like everything about the, uh, the Ruined City, the Temple of Baal. That whole area of the game is my favorite area of the game. Then you fight that Mastermind guy who can one-shot your entire team in five rounds. My path be true. All right, I'll catch you on the flip, Mr. Tree. You useless piece of wood. Never liked trees, you know? Never been a big fan of them. Creator, destroyer. You know, the Merkle fight had to be one of the coolest fights that I've ever experienced in a turn-based game. I can tell you that much. That was a really cool fight. Like the first time that you're doing it, or maybe even the second. It was tough, though. Zyphiel finished Act 2. Congratulations. Oil fields in DOS 2? I hate that fight. I would skip that area if possible. Catherick fight because of how epic it was. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go Catherick fight for uh, Act 2. Ruin Temple fight with the power word. Yeah, that was just that was a fun fight. Now, a lot of my favorite fights have to deal with like your first time encounter with them, and once you know the mechanics, it loses a lot of its excitement. That's why Honor Mode is fun again because we're not exactly sure what those legendary actions are going to be. So close to level eight. All right, let's go ahead and. Check my spell Elements slots here. Around, so well Probably should take a long rest. Really hope I don't run out of food. Yeah, let's do a long rest. Let's play it safe. Then I'm going to check this missing area right here. And then we're going to head to... The village of Wraithwin. And hopefully kill at least one of Cuthric's family members tonight. Maybe we'll go after the Garengoth Thor. I wonder if she has legendary action. I always underestimate how long it's going to take me to do things in this game. Ah, oh, crap. How do I get up? Oh, right here. Well, let me click. A 
I'm not exactly sure what my party members are doing right now. Merkel's intro, yeah. You know, I I didn't expect that. Did you guys expect that? I mean, a lot of people probably watch people do it before they do it for their first time. But as someone who went in completely blind to that fight, I was like, the fight itself was already difficult for me on my first try because I was like two levels lower than what you're supposed to be. And these things have stayed interesting. And I killed Catherick. What am I to do? It was my first TPK in Baldur's Gate 3 in the full version. Without delay. I killed Catherick. And Action. I was like Reaction. celebrating like out of happiness that I did it. And then all of a sudden, a god, an avatar of a god rises from the pit. And then I got destroyed. And then I also tried healing a million times before I realized that you can't heal within his aura. Swift as my feet can carry me. Virgil's intro is like Dark Souls. Grim was a pretty fun fight. We learned that one in early access, though, so lost a little bit of its excitement in the full game. I remember defeating Grim for the first time and not really knowing the mechanics. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, the Raphael boss fight. I don't know if it's my favorite boss fight, like the mechanics of the boss fight, but overall experience of the boss fight, if you're including the environment and the music, of course, and the mechanics. Probably one of my favorite ones in Act 3. Have a lot on my mind. The music really, really bumps that fight up quite a lot. I've never felt that way in like a, especially in a turn-based video game before. That was something special. You playing honor mode at all, Don? Or are you still pushing on your other... Don has like 10 playthroughs going right now. All's well that ends. Alright, let's go ahead and buff. As bad as it could have. Salutations. Let's move. Wits and blades always sharp. Don't be the best. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Can't slow down. Yeah, Don has beat Act 1. Are you in Act 3 yet, Don? Hate non tree people? What do you mean? No honor mode yet, Don? Alright, alright. Yeah, I'd recommend beating the game first before you do honor mode. Just so you have an idea. Might be really frustrating. I don't know, honor mode's probably not meant for most people anyways, just because people don't want to start over. Hmm. Just thought of something. is halfway through act two nice you're probably right around where i'm at all right we found that one and now we're going to go up here and i think this is thaniel's quest up here or part of thaniel's quest is it oh it is oh no okay don't have any sea invisibility spells or anything potions Never a dull moment. Finally, I can craft a potion of speed again. What does an elixir of viciousness do? The number you need to roll a critical hit is reduced by one. Oh, action, not reaction. Let's just drink it right now. Never gonna drink it. Okay, we're saving all potions of speed for dire situations. Nice, I have five of them now. 
I also have a few invisibility potions. Perfect. No time to rest. Very well. Always room for more. Hide and seek. Will you play with me? Who are you? I'm Oliver. I'm seven. Will you play with me? In a moment, maybe. Have you seen another little boy? His name is Thania. I don't know anyone called that. Don't ask me again. Now play with me. All I can think about is that stuffed crust pizza. Don't you have anyone else to play with? I have a mummy, a daddy, and a doggy. They'll That's be back freaky. in a while, but you're here now, and I want to play. What are your parents' names? Maybe I can find them. They don't need names. They just need to be mummy and daddy and do what I want. Now play with me, or they'll be angry with you. Uh-oh. It's creepy. You want to play? Fine. All right. I'll hide and you seek. Find me and you win. And if I don't find you? Then you lose. Would you guys play with this kid if you came across him? Let's begin. Get ready. And no cheating. Honestly, I did this on my first run. Um, I never completed the Shadow Curse quest, so... but I remember I did this. I don't remember how I found him. I know, I know there's some spells that I can use. Oh, okay. Perception. To find me. You that was supposed easy. To win. Don't be a sore loser, kid. You're not my mummy. Don't tell me what to do. I ought to slap this Let's little kid silly. Game. I deserve a chance to even the score. All right. Actually, no. I'm finished with your BS. We're not finished. Oh crap. How about those sound effects? We're facing mummy and daddy. <laughs> they only have 87 HP. They are level 7. Wow. Are they always level 7? Damn, they have bludgeoning resistance. Yeah, this is no problem. This is no problem. You think I care about a little bludgeoning resistance? All right, let's go ahead and I would like to get them grouped up actually. So I'm going to, and we have the dog to deal with too. I'm gonna kill the dog first. Sorry, puppy. You'll be hanging out with Scratch in no time. I'm just kidding. Scratch is still alive on my run, but not for long. What? You bastard. See ya. All right, gonna hold my position here. Hey, I should spread out a little bit. I don't know if these guys are gonna cast. Mr. Gal, I'm gonna have you be a little biatch right on top of the roof. And we'll go ahead and do... Oh yeah, look at Gal just throwing curveballs like it's nothing. Impressive. Dark currents, okay. Please don't kill Scratch. You guys use Illithid powers, they're pretty good, I agree. Some of the Illithid powers are really, really powerful. Especially the passive ones. If you see ones that are passive benefits, like Luck of the Realms, so good. And the Eye of Invisibility. Nice. That's what I was looking for in my inventory. I didn't have anything to cast that. If anything happens to Scratch, I'm coming after Wolf. 
All right, let's go with Shadowheart, and we're going to drop what I like to call Spiritual Guardians. Gotcha. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, nice. All nearby light sources get extinguished when the Wraith is nearby. See ya. Hazel is an absolute unit. I haven't even taken one HP of damage yet. I wonder if you can put those things to sleep. Probably not. from Volo, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, explore this arc a little bit more on this run, Keith. Nathaniel's story definitely interests me. Alright. Um, oh, wow. Cheating, getting the high ground. I see what's up. I see what's up. Thunder resistance. Damn, resistant to almost everything. Is there any damage type that it's not? Force. Let's go ahead and... Doesn't really matter what I do. I'm just going to end my turn. Try to get Shadowheart some high ground here. Hate how you can't see. Can't even tell if it's gonna hit him. Get onto the damn roof. Can't scroll up, I don't know. Okay. Not even worth moving spirit guardians. See ya, mommy. Seriously? Mommy! Daddy! Doggy! No! Don't leave me! Yeah, they're gone, kid. Okay. checking the area. I wonder if Helsin wants to hear about that. Lost in thought. Minus 7 HP. Hmm. I've got a long Just kidding. Ahead. That's what the abjuration wizard's for. Wonder what's past this. Not using powers in my honor run mode. I murdered the poor, poor boy's family. Shouldn't have been standing there. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue. This could actually be pretty good on my bard. Back to that, she has a minus one penalty to wisdom, intelligence, and charisma saving throws for every turn. When it fails a wisdom, intelligence, or charisma saving throw, while having five or more turns of this condition remaining, the entity takes one to four psychic damage. Breathing. Not a bad ring for like a bard character. Get rid of that ring. That ring's not doing me any good right here.
Yeah, I like that. Make it easier for me to land some of my wisdom saving spells too, which is, of course, some of the best spells in the game. Eager for battle. I don't know why it's so hard to double click on a character's portrait. It's been like this since the start of early access. Make that little rat an orphan, and With hopefully they give it to me then. Because if they don't, I'm taking them to court, and I'm live streaming it on their own platform. All right, um, I think we're heading towards. Let me go to camp. I want to see if Helson wants to talk about anything. <clears throat> Can't slow down. Why am I sad and depressed? That's who I am. I'm a sad, depressed little boy. Where the hell is Helson here? Oh, he's over here. Wait, is he? Yeah, Volo. Helson usually hangs out here, doesn't he? He must still be at the... F oh, he must still be at the last light in. Is he? Dude, this camp is huge. This is crazy. Why is this camp so big? What can we even do with it? Am I playing The Sims right now? Yeah, I did the Helsin last light. Yep, we're all done with that. I saved Isabel, which was fantastic. On a real note, Snubmeister, take a picture of yourself when you've been playing a game for four hours. Okay? Take a picture of yourself when, you, when you've been sitting in front of a computer screen for four hours and you've been playing a game. Take a picture of your face and see what it looks like. Intestines throb. Probably look Blood sad and depressed whiskers. too, but are you sad and depressed? I hope not. I'm not. Not at all. We're just coming up on, you know, three to four hours of streaming. I've been talking the entire time, so sometimes my get a little, little fatigued. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to go to the last light. Cannot nothing. fast travel right now. I am Gale should be just to your tastes. <laughs> Vanilla to be precise. Oh man, we can change the I wonder if we can go back and forth. You are Shaq Fonash too. Source of my bruises. The wounds you inflicted will heal, but they will leave behind scars. Somebody in the YouTube chat, Shy. And I could stream like this. <laughs> let, me, let me click on the bed roll. I think I just wasted a full rest right there. Quite honest with you, I think I had almost all my spell slots. Okay, all we gotta do is get through the second half of Act 2 with supplies. Once you make it to Act 3, you're perfectly fine. I'm also a little dehydrated right now, I'm not gonna lie. Please don't do that. You guys don't like a lot of things that I'm doing tonight, do you? I'm starting to get worried about you guys. All right, let's stop the last light in and go see Mr. Mosquito Arms Helson. See if he's actually been pushing some weight in the gym or if he's just snuffing the dog all day. Wolf E-Boy arc. Hey Wolf, glad to see we're still going strong. Thanks, Vesper. Having a good time. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Tardis, I don't know. You tell me. You're a mod. You should be able to do quotes, right? I don't know what the hell that stupid quote thing is. Is it working for you or what? Very well. Starting to piss me off, Tardis. 
It's true, then. He's met Thaniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. Helson, do you even do anything? You stupid wood elf. Do you even do anything? Figured I'd be able to have a conversation with him about Oliver right there. Apparently not, though. The butler gave you another chance. Kill your darling, but you didn't. You spent the night tied up, playing out a farce as a wriggling, squirming slug. Humiliating. You could be so much more than that screaming heap. Come back to yourself. He who wants to bring justice to the victims of a murder, to do so, he needs a ledger belonging to the killer. That's in the waning moon. We found Art's last orders to investigate the house of healing. If we follow in his footsteps, we might learn more about him. Okay, so we are definitely heading into the next area. Let's do some buffs. Damn it, Shadowheart. Oh my god, you're just so... Basic. Basic white girl. God, I got the jokes tonight. Helson transformed into a cat during the Isabel Marcus fight in one of my playthroughs. I was like, where is your bear form? That's hilarious. This turns into a cat with like 2 HP. Carter, so the quotes working or what? Um, I could probably stop at the vendor real fast, and then we're gonna go see what Garengoth Thorn is all about, and I could talk my way out of that. But that wouldn't be any fun, would it? Anything you need. We don't know when the next blow might land. You're right. Let's go ahead and sell. I gotta go through all of my Yeah, we'll sell that, why not? Gloves of the growling underdog. Not bad gloves. Get rid of that. Get rid of our rotten food. <laughs> Arcane acuity. Now we're not doing that. The wearer's weapon and unarmed attacks. Nope, we can sell that. While concentrating on a spell, weapon attack steel. Nope, we don't need that. The skin burster. Nope, don't need that. Ray of sickness. Never gonna remember to use that. Might as well sell it. Oh yeah, give me all your gold. I think I need a resurrection scroll though. Take that. Um, any good scrolls here, my friend? No, you do not. Ooh. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Why not? Alright, sell that. Probably get, sell the Githy. I'm not using that stuff this round. We're not doing a lore run, are we? Exterminator's Axe deals an additional 1 to 6 fire damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. This would actually be a pretty good weapon to have. In the Shadow Curse lands. At least the first part with all those trees that we've been fighting. Skybreaker. That's overrated. We're getting rid of that. Alright, Bazel. I want you to get rid of Dragon's Grass. Let's get rid of the Great Club. Let's get rid of the Short Bow. The Yankee Crossbow. Club of Hill Giant Strength. I'm going to hang on to that. Sell that. Sell the Mold. 1500 gold left. All right, and we're out of here. Take care. Let's get going. Let's give everybody aid around here. I'm not greedy. What do you mean I didn't do it right? For cripe's sake, Tardis. Do I work for you? Wait, what's going on here? I have a lot on my mind. And well, stupid quitch Twitch twotes? What is that, like something that TikTokers do or something? Swear to God, I enabled it. You just don't know how to use it, Tardis. Just accept it. Let's have a surprise troll stream that's nothing but inventory management. Wall of Fire works amazing there. Oh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I should have looked for a potion of speed, Merity, but it's too late now. That would have been a good idea. For sure. Magic. Eight abjuration charges given. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could Toss out a couple bardic inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Just another day. 
Nothing too crazy going on here. Let's go ahead and do... I'm going to do Death Ward too. Yeah, why not? Let's do Death Ward on Lazel. Might as well plop it on her. Could have just played a half orc and you have Death Ward at all times. All right. What now? Let's go see what the Shadow Curse Lands is all about. Carly, Carly. Yeah, I was talking to my uh, um, my moderator over in the Twitch chat. Me and him have had some problems in the past, so sometimes I gotta yell at him. Sometimes it's not pretty. Usually cries too. It's actually kind of pathetic. Let's go ahead and watch these guys just run it in. That'd be pretty cool. Get a nice little angle here. Yeah. Why do I make fun of my mods? Because they're easy to make fun of. Especially when you're TARDIS. Maybe I should go buy that again, so I feel. Oh man, I do have to shake it. Really now. Great. You look like you want to say the magic words, like they're right on the tip of your lips. He's blessing. I guess you do have to shake it. Hey, nice. You're in Thailand? That's awesome. I've spent uh, a lot of time over in Thailand. Looking ahead. These boots have a lot of time. Enjoy your, enjoy your stay there with whatever you're doing. Good people. Great country. Good food. Cow pot guy. Kapoon Makap. I'm all about the cow pot guy. All right, let's um. Hmm. Let's see. I want it back. Want it back now. Wish I had a bag of holding. So curious to see if she has. How much gold do I got? We're going to send all of our gold back to camp. Nothing hurts anymore. I'm going to put it in a chest here, too, actually. <clears throat> oh, no. You have a plus 10 bonus here next. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to bard my way out of this. I don't think I want to bard my way out of this, uh, Arwen. It's not as it's not as fun. I mean, it is fun, but like on an honor mode playthrough, where we're trying to see what these legendary actions are. I'm kind of curious what the bard response does. Ballad, sonnets, jigs. The list is endless, really. I require gold. I have no more gold. Oh, so much for talking my way out of that one. Here we go.
607 HP. Start off. Let's have 44. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Thirty-five percent chance, really? All right, let's um. Mm -hmm. I don't know if glyph of warding works on flying creatures. I wish I had Guardian of Faith right now. That would be sick. Justin, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Appreciate you. They are. They're just. They got it all, man. New hotfix for the game. That's what Shy was saying earlier. Hope my mods work. Otherwise, it means I have to restart all my playthrough. I've only had one, like, one actual. Actually, really tough encounter. Um, Samuel. It was the Grim fight, but it's going to be a different experience for everybody, depending on party comp and knowledge of the game, etc. think I've ever oh god okay can I throw those kidding me
Hmm. Never had that happen before. I've never, you know, been in this fight long enough for that to happen before. On my first run, I pushed her off the roof, and then I can't remember what I did on Tactician. I wonder if you can still push her off the roof. A little bit nervous to get too close here. Oh, oh my god. That's <laughs> I speak, they burn. Still on my feet. Kind of feel bad. That was a little messed up, wasn't it? Shatter would work in this case. That's crazy. Karen Goth Thorm. Thanks again, Justin. She's just a gold digger. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can handle this fight. For sure. All right, do I have any more skulls left? Nope, she only got seven HP right now. Watch this. See ya. Free from the curse now. Perhaps she'll find peace. My god, I'm level 8 and I just started. I'm level 8 and I just started, like, really getting into Act 2, like the real part of Act 2. That's incredible. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. There's a lot of XP that you can get in this game. You guys want me to go do the Malice Storm fight too right now, or what? I could probably get you guys another fight before I end the stream. Repositioning. And I could come back and do some looting another time. Securing. I don't think I wonder if I'll be able to reach level nine by Ketherick. Uh I don't know. Obviously the XP is a lot slower now. Twist of fortune. When you roll a two or less with its with this weapon's damage die, re-roll it and take the new result. Unsigned trade visa. In the office. Shit. A strength check to get into that one. That's cool. 514 gold. Nice. I'm a rich man. Oh, I think there's a floorboard that's a little loose in this place over here. That'll be fun to run over it anyways. hit 10 at the first fight in the player colony holy crap that's insane 
didn't even know that was possible. Larian's gonna have to offer another another difficulty mode. Let's go see what Malice Thorm is up to after I level up. Is it time to rest? Level eight as a lore bard. I'm gonna jinx it. Alright, so I was gonna take one level in another class. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that right now, actually, and I think I'm gonna take it in. Be my only multi class character. I'm going to take it in Paladin, and I'm going to go ahead and take the Oath of the Ancients for more support healing capabilities. Yeah, and, uh. Cool. I'll be able to use shields and. I think that's going to benefit me greatly. I feel like when I was using Blight on my other runs, it just never would land. Banishment requires concentration. Might be time to take Wall of Fire. What else am I concentrating on with Gale? Hmm. Also Ice Storm. I actually like Ice Storm. I'm going to take Ice Storm. I'm going to take Ice Storm, and I'm going to take... I'm trying to think for versatility reasons. What else do I need here? Magic weapon, don't need that. We only have one... Few level... High level spell slots, so we might want to look actually at a level 3. We have Hypnotic Pattern. Protection from Energy, which is actually a pretty good spell. Sleet Storm, Slow. Empiric Touch. I also want Dimension Door, too. But am I ever going to really need it? Probably not. All right, I'm going to take and the choice is here. Do I have a I don't even I got to see what scrolls I have real fast. I have sleet storm scroll. I see a finger pointing. Do I have a banishment scroll? I do not. Anji Chan, thank you so much for the $25 super chat. Thanks for making the holidays a little less lonely. Appreciate your content. Been here since your vocal cover days. And I'm glad you're still... Oh my god, are you serious? You're a true OG. Let's go to the tavern for that. Thanks for supporting the channel. Holy crap. Just made my night. You're probably the only person that's watching right now. That's been here since the vocal cover days. Hey man, you're welcome in this community at any time. Make sure you join the Discord too if you're not a member over there. It's free. Cool. Thanks for the donation. As a people like you, then I'm still here. Outward. Oh man, that's that's kind of OG content too. That's 2019, early 2019. That was when I kind of started really going into gaming content. I was doing it before then. I was doing like Call of Duty and Destiny videos and stuff. Um, but Outward, I consider Outward people OGs too. For sure. All right. Um, I don't have a banishment scroll. The thing is, you can always respec. Cavern Brawler. All right, let's go ahead and pick my spells. I applaud your taste. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take banishment. 
I'm gonna take banishment and then I'm gonna take or I do wall of fire I feel like I'm getting close to the higher level wall spells so I don't know if I want wall of fire banish and ooh, web is always a good spell it requires concentration though I'm really just at an impact I don't know what to choose right now and sleep long strider I think I'll be able to learn blight when I get to the city let me look, hold on, let me see if there's any abjuration spells in here, because I should be focusing on those. Illusion, illusion, necromancy, necromancy, evocation, abjuration, stone skin. The turn a creature is flesh hard as stone, it takes only half damage of all non-magical bludgeoning. I don't know if I'll ever cast that. Illusion, evocation, protection from energy is an abjuration spell. Resistance to acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage can come in handy. Transmutation, Necromancy, Illusion, Conjuration. Really don't have many Abjuration spells to choose from right now. I'm going to take Scorching Ray. And then for feats, we're going to get Intelligence up to 20. My Bard doesn't get to get a feat. All right, Light Clerics get to Potent spellcasting. Your gods grant you even more intense power. You can add your wisdom modifier to the damage you deal with cleric cantrips. Wish there was a such thing as a good cleric cantrip, you know? You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we could go... Honestly, I could go 20 wisdom, which is probably the smart move here, but I'm tempted to take warcaster. You gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration. I'm doing it. You think I care? And the Lazal should already have 20 strength. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, this is going to be great. Perfect. Damn, man. Lazal is going to be so deadly now. All right. We're going to come back and loot that building. Um, How many spell slots do I have here? Blackets will be done. Better than nothing. I feel like I could take on Malice Thorn without doing a long rest. I just don't know if it's smart to do that when you're playing on Otter Mode. The thing that sucks is if I try to make it over to the House of Healing. Not a problem. Still got some looting to do in this building. I just don't feel like doing it right now. Super hungry. I just want to do another big fight. So many good items in this area right here. So many. Yeah, that's the Mason's Guild. We're going to run through the Mason's Guild. Trying to get away with not fighting the shadow creatures right now. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Never seen this before because I never saved the tieflings. Hey, I know you. You're. Uh oh. Twist him up. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, Warcaster is Impressive. Great. Last I saw okay. this child, she was cowed to Korga's snake. Oh, yeah, you're right. Didn't even recognize her face. Sorry. Knocks the wind oh, yeah, Arabella. Right out of me. Silly me. And no wonder. You could hurt yourself with magic that wild. I don't think so. I'm good. Well, kind of good. That druid idol I took? It changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words and then it happens, mostly. Dude, the amount of content offered in this game is just insane. Begum, Ozarda, thank you for the five gifted. Welcome to the five new channel members over on YouTube, the best chat around. Oh shit, evil demos. Evil, we playing Call of Duty? I just need a, I need like two more days. I have to finish up, uh, some sponsor content but after i finish that i think hopefully by tomorrow night earliest on saturday we got to play some call of duty you got to play the new map 
Doug got a PS5 today, so. Arabella? You should be with your parents. That's who I'm looking for. Mom and Pops, I mean. When Zevlor... When he... Well... There was an ambush. Mom yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him running behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. You only have 200 likes? Might have to refresh. I'll find your parents. You can count on me. Oh, thanks, mister. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find mom and pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear. Oh, wow. It. Okay. Didn't think I was going to have a kid tonight. Um, there's an inn called The Last Light. You'll be safe there. No way. <gasps> I mean, I'm sure you think that. But you ain't seen what I seen. I don't trust no one sides myself no more. Save three. Mum, Pops, and you. Take me in. Pick I won't your make ass, a key. Dragon. Cross my heart and hope to die. You won't even be able to pick your gun up by the time you're just shot dead. Hey, John. Eric, heart of fire. Okay, of course. You could stay in my camp. Oh, thanks. You'll so you send Mum and Pops there. I'll be waiting. Wow. Yep. Didn't know that quest even existed. We met Arabella, a tiefling child from the grove in the Shadow Curse land. She was looking for her parents. We offered to search for them and invited her to our camp. Zevlor was captured by the cult of the Absolute. His fellow tieflings claim he froze and tried to surrender. We should look for him. Charmed, I'm sure. Not too worried about Zevlor, to be honest with you. That might be worth it. Warding bond rings. At least things have stayed interesting. Can be setting her up as a future companion for BG4. Yeah, anything tiefling related, art of fire, is going to be new for me because the tieflings are always dead. On my other runs. Must be on my way. Alright, we have arrived at the House of Healing. You know what I will do? Because I want to do a long rest, let's go kill the shadow creatures in the center real fast, and then we'll do the House of Hope so I can take a long rest and feel like I didn't waste it. Use up a couple spell slots over here. Looks like an owl bear. Um, we got some Shadow Cursed Harpers. I wonder if you can... No, you can't. I was gonna say, can you remove curse on these creatures? Hold on. I don't think you can. It's not showing as like a normal curse, but... They're undead, so it wouldn't even matter, right? But it's still something like just a... Baldur's Gate makes you think of things like that. Like, what would happen if I used remove curse on one of these creatures? I'm not even gonna do it. It's not gonna do anything. Okay, screw it. We'll try it. Let's see if it even lets me target them, out of curiosity. No! What's... Aw, oh, damn it. I did it with my... Okay. I did it with the wrong character. That's great. Good, good stuff, Wolf. Yep. My bard has removed curse. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I do have a scroll, though. Let's just see if you can even target. No... Target isn't cursed. Shadow cursed Harper. <laughs> good one, game. Good one. All right. Looks like we're in combat. Let's go ahead and drop a... Oh, shit. There's a lot of these things. I gotta be careful here. Um... I am fury. I am death. All right, Basil. Why don't you start us off with a little... little something something here. 67 HP, 21 HP, 67, 31. Ninety-five percent chance. See ya.
when it works, it works. Oh, damn. You bastard. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. These things are... Got a lot of resistances. It's kind of annoying. Let's see you resist that. One HP. a great spell. See ya. See ya. See ya. Still have a shadow creature somewhere. Don't touch my cleric. Don't you dare touch my cleric, sir. sound ever use turn on dead you know I pretty much never do use it I probably should but might find something useful I never even think about using it no time to waste okay now I can rest That's know that I'm not wasting a bunch of I actually use some of my spell is there another little fight I can do around here don't want to do the Gith Yankee fight, that would be bad. Work our way towards. I'll work my way towards the House of Healing. Here it is. Then we'll take a little rest. We're going to do the Malice Thorn fight tonight, and then we're going to call it a night. The Grudge is a movie, a horror movie. Find the secret area under the statue. Yeah, I'll do that another time. It's actually a really good dialogue right there. I encourage that you guys do it if you haven't done that before. That corpse. Oh wow, it is Arabella's parents. Oh, Arabella's not going to be happy about that. Okay. What if those are... No, I think I... Hope I didn't ruin that. The corpse regards you lifelessly. How did you die? Surgeon. Okay. Sisters. And why were you in this place? Betrayed. Ran. Shelter. 
Where is Evlor now? The corpse remains silent. Who are you? The spells pack. Elturel, city east of Baldur's Gate, 200 miles or so, give or take a few. And actually, if you wanted to go to Elturel from Baldur's Gate, you would likely come through the town of Wraithwind right here, which used to be a town that worshipped Saluna and didn't always have the Shadow Curse. You might want to avoid it in modern times, Forgotten Realms. If not over, the wizard's quite worth it. Oh, nope, I don't want to go that one. I want to go this way. Wait, where the hell? Oh, here it is. Like it's will be done. Sorry, sister. I have to find that. I have to find the item in this house, too, for art color. Path is interrupted. No. All right, we're getting really close to the big fight. So let's go ahead and go to camp, take a long rest. You guys want me to... I'll let you guys choose, okay? You want me to take on Malice Thorm in straight-up combat? Or do you want me to try to do the thing where he kills himself or the sisters kill him or whatever it is? What to do? Fight, fight, fight. Yeah, we did, uh, I did do the Charisma options, GM Dragon, in a previous stream. We went through a bunch of different permutations for that. Combat? Okay, alright. I think, I think combat has spoken. Guess you guys are gonna... What happens if I TPK? Do I blame it on you guys? Never a dull moment. I haven't done this fight since my first playthrough. Four months ago. Without delay. Wait, no. I think I killed him on Tactician too. When we went through all the dialogue options. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Let's um. I'm gonna send down Lazel since we're not doing dialogue. And let me think. We gotta do our buffs real fast. Still alive. So that's progress. Might even send down Shadowheart too, actually. Mm-hmm. Look at all these new paladin things. Oh, hold on. A multi-class. Let's make use of it. Interesting times. Make use of the multi-class. Nice. 16 AC. We can also put on some better armor too. This is currently 11 armor class, but it's also bard armor. I didn't think about that. I did multi-class so I could wear better armor and have a higher AC. But at the same time, the bard armor in this game Probably mostly light armor. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shadowheart has that on. 10 armor class, that's 15. That would give me 17 armor class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, 20 actually. Man, that's a big boost to armor class. I think I'll take that over a little of a over a little heal. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's four temporary hit points. That was more so good back in Act 1. Act 2, not as good. I like that a lot. 
Got a 20 armor class right now as a lore bard. That's that's incredible. That's huge right there. That is huge. Still breathing, despite everything. At the ready. Oh yeah, I mean medium armor. That's what I meant. Oh, enough waiting. I crave. Ended up adding one level of cleric for the armor. Nice, nice. Yeah, I could have done that too. I didn't even think about that. I did paladin, but I got oath of the ancients paladin, which is nice. But I could look into the cleric subclasses for a bard too. Some of the subclass features that they get is pretty nice. All right, let's uh, let's head on down. I'm gonna send Lazel and Shadow Fart. Hmm, maybe I'll have everybody. Ready and willing. Forthwith. I have Gal up here. Can I? Can, but I can't really see. So we're going to put Gal right here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ooh. The cowards Scared the bejeebers out of me. Should mind my step. Assume nothing. And we're going to take these two ladies and bring them down this way. Proceeding. Well, let's just get this started. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. The objective of the scalpel system. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, brother. Step forward. You are no sister. Oh, nice. That's actually kind of nice. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Holy crap. Look how close I am. I'm all right, let's see what we got here. Malice Thorm, 358 HP. Oh my God, look at his legendary action. Legendary resistance, okay. Plus 10 bonus, the next saving throw. Well of Loss. After being attacked once per round, Malice Thorm can make every assistant cast Well of Loss. Simultaneous. Oh shit. Wow, okay. I'm not scared of it. Not scared of it in the slightest. Damn, really? I'm not gonna be. Ah, oh, that sucks. Can't get close enough. Taking position. Well, let's test it out with Lazel. Y'all ready for this? I said, are y'all ready for this? I'd have to counterspell it like a million different times though, wouldn't I? This must be oh shit. how this goes and I'll bring in my other party members. Oh, everybody's in. Still yourself. The source teeth the way for the shadow. Lazel took a lot of damage. I'm ready. Oh, damn it. No. What's there shall be mine. I'm not, I'm tempted to take a potion of speed, but I shouldn't get ahead of myself. I don't think I need it right now. I don't think I need the potion of speed. A little bit worried that this guardian might actually attack, attack my own character. So I'll hold off on casting that. The spirit guardians. Let's go.
Might have to actually I might actually have to take out all these guys first. I might switch up my strategy right now. Might go full out on all the ads. I can't even catch my breath. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I wonder if I can put those ads to sleep. That would be nice. Target undead, let's go. 62 HP. Resistant to fire and necrotic. Um, let's go ahead and... Bring her over here. Take a look at that legendary action again. After being attacked, he can make... He can make the Well of Loss. Oh, legendary actions are stored at the end of each round, so I can actually go all out right now. Probably has. He has legendary resistance, so I don't think I want to do that. Um, let's do... I didn't prepare the spells that I leveled into. Nice. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm going to kill all the sisters first. So we're going to... Disengage. My path be true. I don't think he can resurrect these, can he? to use my bonus action. But can use click heals. You gotta be oh thank god. Thank God for Warcaster. Surgeon's chosen. Damn it, man. Make way. Who can't last much 
longer. Sixteen percent chance of that, that sucks. Crap, crap, I forgot. Don't use fire against these creatures. Didn't think that one through. Wonder if this would heal Lazalify. You guys have sunlight sensitivity? No, they don't. time when you'll see me use cure wounds very very rare very rare don't go after don't go after shadow heart no 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 oh what the hell that was weird. All right, back up with six HP. I'm good with that. I am a okay with that. Let's go magic missile 12 to 30. So let's go. back out of this. Try to get him to stay inside the Guardian. 88% chance. Great Weapon Master, 64% chance. Decision Dice, 84% chance. That's great. That would ever work. Hmm, where is he going right now? Kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Where could he possibly be going to right now?
breathe deep and move. Damn it, I, my character moved. I screwed that up. Do 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 I speak, they burn. Rook to Queen Six. Thanks, Shy. Hello to anybody in the Twitch chat that I haven't acknowledged yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Bipolar Sushi Bear. If you go on my channel, I have a beginner's guide playlist. There's like five or six videos in there that are really, really beginner friendly. That'll help you out a little bit because once you get like a solid foundation of beginner's knowledge on this game, you literally jump up a difficulty level in player skill. Like, seriously. Just like understanding some of the basics will make you a full difficulty better at the game. This takes a little time, a little frustrating at first. Just totally understandable because most people have already gone through that phase. I know I certainly did when Early Access first came out. It was very stressful. And I was already studying it for like years prior to that, studying D&D 5th edition. I was still stressed out. Light on my feet. That's gonna miss. My favorite die? You know, I don't know. I don't really get into that aspect of the game as much as others. I can't remember the, the names of the dies that I used. Plays all his soul rend on that sword. I always forget about my weapon abilities. Played DOS 2 before this. Yeah, if you played Divinity Original Sin 2, you're not going to understand like the exact rules and mechanics, but you'll understand the Larian way of doing things, which will make you a lot better at the game too. It's like, if you've never played a Larian game before, like, you don't really, you could never possibly understand, like, the extent of, like, the sandbox nature of this game. When you come into an encounter, there's, like, seven billion different things that you can do to complete that encounter. Everybody handles it in a different way. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Honestly, probably not bad but for Lazel. But like, she's usually killing people within one turn, so. But let's get rid of the stupid dancing lights amulet. We'll put that on her. Be really good against the boss, because they get critical hits a lot with Lazel. And then going back to that item that I had earlier that allows you to get a critical hit. Minus one, what it currently is at. Like somebody said in the chat, you could start stacking items around that. Do a build around critical hits. That'd be kind of cool. 
I must keep going. I'll give it a try. I have a lot to loot. Whenever you deal poison damage, don't care. Not using poison spells. Alright, so I do have to do some deep looting in the House of Healing and also back in the Toll House so I can make sure I pick up everything. And there's a quest that I have to figure out while I'm here. But that is going to be it for tonight. It's been a hell of a stream. We have taken down uh, a couple of Ketherick's family members. We have to go take out his possibly bastard son next stream. Visibald Thorm at the Waning Moon. And I would think that probably two sessions from now will be Catherick Thorm battle, I'm thinking. Um, today's Thursday. I probably won't be live tomorrow because I have a lot of video work that I have to do. Um, Saturday's up in the air, but Sunday is now an official scheduled stream day for me. Even though there's going to be some times when I can't make Sundays because a lot of family stuff that usually happens on the weekends, but... Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Sunday, usually in the afternoon, Eastern time, 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., something like that. Um, so I'm planning on doing that this weekend. Could possibly change. And every other day is always, of course, random. Sometimes I'll be live, sometimes I won't be. Fireman says, in my two playthroughs, I've yet to see that fight with both the sisters and the surgeon. Man, cool. GG's. Oh yeah, Shy, I saw a tweet that you did. Hopefully, I hope everybody is doing okay in your family right now. I hope you stay uh, you stay healthy too. Bastian, thanks for watching. Crazy thought, probably too hard for honor mode or tactician. What was your thoughts, I feel? You can meow your way through? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you could, I guess. Cats help Aelin. Um, yes, I am multi-streaming on Twitch and YouTube right now. You guys feel free to watch on whatever your preferred platform is. So far, the multi-streaming has been pretty good. I've gotten really good at looking at both chats, too. At first, that was a challenge for my eyes. Especially after I've only been staring at one chat for like the past three years. I had to kind of retrain my eyes, but I think I'm getting better at it. Oh, okay, yeah. I was actually thinking that, Zayfi, when I ran past them. I'll go back and do it some other time. Good times, though. Good times. You all have a wonderful night. Thanks for all the gifted tonight. Thank you for the primes, and thank you for the donations. Oh, wait! Are people still here? We have one more giveaway to... Wait, did I do my two? DL Brown? Oh, never mind. We did the two giveaways. Okay. I, f I got confused for a second. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. DL Brown, and then... Bear, make sure you guys DM me if you're still listening right now so I can give you your prize. The Midori. Make sure you get the loot from the surgeon. Okay, I'll do some good looting in that area. See a Steven. Prepare spells for Gal. True. Failed in that regard. Definitely failed. Uh, see ya, Morgana. I'll link your channel in the chat right now. Jerry Morgana's channel in the YouTube chat right now. The fellow Baldur's Gate 3 creator. Just beat Raphael in round one on honor. Hold monster. Yeah, hold monster is so good against Raphael. Hopefully I have it by that time. Because <laughs> I will not hesitate to use it. Raphael is the fight that's really scaring me right now. 